Well, um... It's a noisy thing. And look, straight away, we've got the wrong window on there. And we've got the wrong window on there. I'm just giving you a sneak preview of what's about to happen. You didn't think I was going to leave you here stranded all by yourself today, did you? I hope not. I'm Danny De Heck, a.k.a. the Crypto Ponzi Scheme Avenger. Here to name and shame anyone running or promoting a Ponzi scheme or a scam. And today, something interesting from the past. Yes, I went through 30 old videos of Hyperverse. And I've got faces of people who are in these Zoom meetings learning to be scammers. Some of them succeeded and graduated, others did not. But you may find it interesting if you've been following the sagas of Hyperverse from the start, right up to the latest sagas of Boomerang. Boomerang is the latest stunt that they're pulling off where they're actually pretending that you're getting money from arbitration trades. Arbitration, am I saying that right? Probably not. Something comes out my mouth at 6 44 a.m. in the morning. I can just see that without my glasses on. Um, lovely to have people in the chat room. We've got six people here straight out of the gun, waiting for Danny to get out of bed. Bit of a rough day for Danny yesterday, um, and um, didn't quite go as planned. I found out that my 80-year-old mother had been admitted to hospital. Now, if you don't realize much about me, um, I was brought up in a religious cult, and my mother has spent the last um, 31 years uh, shunning me and not having anything to do with me. So when I get a message from my brother who doesn't talk to me because he's part of the Jehovah's Witness religion telling me that my mother would probably appreciate a visit in hospital under the current circumstances and I knew nothing about the circumstances, I had to do some digging. So I went and did some old-fashioned digging, rang around an auntie and some other people, finished up ringing up the hospital and then realizing that my nephew, who can't stand me, can't stand me, has actually told the hospital that um, he doesn't want me to visit because I signed off that he gets to care for my mother. Long story short, my mother has got um, uh, Alzheimer's and she's lost her mind. And she got to the state where she actually had to get a police a pickup journey to um, hospital. So it has opened a hornet nest in my brain because I thought I'd dealt with the fact um, what's going to happen when that time comes with my mother. I didn't know whether my mother had a stroke and she was, un um, I didn't know what condition my mother and I was expecting the worst. But fortunately, she's still got her sense of humor. She's still got her religion. And um, I'm trying to work out whether I can go visit her or not. But that was some sort of something that sometimes you think you've dealt with something and you can deal with it and you sort of think if that time comes, I'll be able to handle it and the like. But it hit me like a ton of bricks. Have we got any sound? Danny, I understand what... Oh, thank you very much. Um, you yeah, know, it was... Uh, I could tell you everything, but it's just no point. But don't ever get involved or born into a religion, I can tell you. It's just astronomical. Um, for people who know me, they'll know that um, about a year ago, um, uh, my, well, it was my nephew, but my mother was claiming that she wanted to take me to court to get a, um, what do they call them, a protection order against me, because she was afraid that she wasn't allowed to exercise her freedom of religion, and she was afraid that I was stopping her from doing so i have nothing to do with my mother so it was sort of out of the blue but it came out of the blue well after i produced a video about the detrimental effects 
that the Jehovah's Witness religion has had in my life. So I published a video. I did talk about my family, but I didn't blame anyone for the two um, people in my family who died by suicide. And I truly believe that they died by suicide because they couldn't live up to the expectations that the Jehovah's Witness Church had put on them. So I'm going to tell you, because I'm pretty transparent here, but my mum is 80 years of age, and she's my nephew, which is my sister's child. He's like my, it was like my son. And I moved back home at one stage, even though I was kicked out of the religion, to help bring him up. So I used to, mum used to go to work at six o'clock in the morning. She used to drop him off. I used to drop him off at childcare. Mum used to pick him up after work. So we're pretty close, and we've always been pretty close. But when I, where it fell apart was when I did the video about the shunning, the effects that shunning has on people's life. I spoke for a lot of people. So they tried to get a protection order against me because they wanted that video removed. They didn't agree with it, and they felt they would fade. Anyway, a week before I went to court, uh, they got my mum tested, and she was unfit to go to court. So my nephew thought he'd take over. And then the, the court said, no, we, there's no way that you're going to be granted this. Danny hasn't done anything wrong. Clear as no, nothing. But they said that would still be happy to meet with us. So they met with us. And um, last time I wanted to go visit my mum, I went to the police station and said, I'm, I'm concerned that my nephew is controlling my mum and my mum's sort of trapped. And I said, would it be possible for you guys to do a welfare check on my mother? So they rang up my mother in real time while I was at the police station and they said, oh, look, we've got your son here. He's asked us to do a welfare check. Is it okay if he comes around? Oh, no. She said, why doesn't he come around and see me? So she invited me around to her house. I went around to her house. I literally recorded the conversation with my mum for my own sanity. And she was it was as right as rain. But I said to mum, is it possible for us to have a relationship of some sort? but just don't bring up the religion because I love you to bits, mum, blah, blah, blah. And um, she said, oh, but I want the best for you, Danny. You know, and the best for you is being in the Jehovah's Witness religion. And I'm going, I don't believe in the religion, mum. I don't want anything to do with it. How can you not believe in Jehovah? <laughs> you know, okay, mum, I just don't have it. I said, I, I'm 50 at the time. I was 52, I think, 52 and 54 now. And I said, look, I said, you don't even know me. I've traveled the world. I've owned my own businesses. I've built houses in the country, which is a big deal here, and you don't know anything about my life. All what you're hoping is that I'm going to come back <laughs> to the Jehovah's Witness Church. I said, it's not going to happen. And then I, I remember saying these words to my mum. I said, I could have been like my sister Linda or my stepfather Robert de Heck. I could have died by suicide, mum. And the words that came out of her mouth then was, at least you would have got a resurrection. And I said, fuck you, mum. <laughs> Not aggressively, just fuck you, mum. My mum would rather that I died by suicide with the hope that I was going to get a resurrection on earth. So I left, and as I'm leaving, she said, I love Jehovah more than you. And that was my last conversation with my mother. So after that, I got documents from the New Zealand High Court saying that my mother is seeking a protection order against me. So that was, um, I have to tell you the story now. So that was a shock. So anyway, we went through, I've got some good friends, ex-Jehovah's Witness lawyers friends, and they sort of said, oh, you know, well, it's a bit weird. You'll never get granted it. But the fact is that it doesn't sound like your mother. And all the documents were written in my nephew's handwriting. So he was pushing for it. And a week before I went to trial, as my mum changed her mind, well, they shouldn't change her mind. They took her to the doctor and said she's deemed unfit. And because I want the best for my mum, I actually signed a, a document saying that the power of attorney is with my nephew, who's about, I don't know, I think he's dirty. We don't have anything to do with each other's family. So all that aside, here I am. Um, the court for the the trial, for my mum sort of asking the courts for a protection order, actually got wiped. But the dates remain the same. So we went along to the courts and they said, look, um, can we work out things between you and your nephew with the interest of your mother's, you know, your mother's interest at heart? I said, sure. Long story short, uh, we were in there for about an hour, hour and a half with a high court judge. Well, not a high court judge, just a judge, a family court judge. And um, at the end of it, what do they do? Something interesting. 
they um, they said that your mum doesn't want anything to do with you. You know, if, if your mum's right, if she doesn't want anything to do with you because of the religion, you've got to respect that. And they said, you know, would you be interested in signing an agreement where you're not going to, like basically a trespass notice, like I'm not going to turn up at her house unannounced. I said, I never do turn up at her house unannounced. In fact, the last time I visited my mother, I went to the police station first. And I said, it's on the record. And that's what happened. And that was the last visit I had. I asked for permission. So I don't mind signing an agreement. I don't want to bowl around to my mum's place unannounced because I'm disfellowshipped Jehovah's Witness. So that was all right. So I signed that agreement. So when when I rang up the hospital yesterday, my nephew had told the hospital staff that I have a protection order and I'm not allowed to visit my mother. And I weren't really going to rush up there and visit her anyway, but it was a total lie. So I'm trying to record this meeting yesterday thinking that um, what's wrong with my mother, you know, as she is it that is that time come? Has she fallen over? Has she had a stroke? I had no idea what was happening. And I was trying to figure it out. So I left the recording going and then I went into the lounge room and I rang up the hospital. So then I had to deal with the fact that the hospital had been told a lie. And I'm telling the hospital, I said, I don't have a trespass. Uh, I, I, I don't even have a trespass notice. Well, I do. I just need to announce. I need to make sure that my mum is happy to see me if I wanted to go around there and visit her. So long story short, uh, I couldn't believe the hospital just believed <laughs> that there's a protection order in place against me. It was just a total fabricated lie. So I said to the hospital, well, you need that verified, don't you? Because I'm, my brother is nine years older and I'm the only child left in my mum's family. And my nephew is my nephew, so it's my sister's son. And he's been helping my mum out. I'm not allowed to know anything about my mum. For the last, I don't know, two years, nothing. So it's the religion that's the problem. So I want the best for my mum, and I want her. So anyway, now she's in hospital. So what I found out, and I don't care if you know this, my mum has been living in her house. She should be in a home. And if I had my way and I was looking after her, I would have put her in a home by now. She has got... Um, a, um, Alzheimer's. Is it when you lose your mind, you can't remember things? She's been leaving notes around the house to locate her alcohol. My mum's, I've just found out that my mum has got a drinking problem and is an alcoholic. You know, so that's that's quite hard to swallow. <laughs> well, not the alcohol. But they found my mum as drunk, 80 years of age. They found my mum drunk and she was trying to do self-harm. So after putting up this fight for 77 years to love Jehovah, her life has amounted to her losing her marbles, not being able to remember things, leaving notes in the house to find out bottles of vodka. Because my nephew, so I heard, uh, found, had a note stuck to his foot. And on the note, it gave directions to find a bottle of vodka in the house. So when he went around there, so I've heard, I don't know if it's true, but my disclaimer's in place, my nephew um, found the note that gave directions to a bottle of vodka. Good old mum, I reckon. And then the next thing is my mum's drunk as a skunk and she's got a knife out and she's been trying to do self-harm. He didn't know how to handle the situation. I would have because I went through 20 years of drug abuse and suicide attempts with my my sister. So um, the police were called. And get this, I just found out yesterday my mum could have either been dead she could have um, been injured, could have broke a hip like old people do. This happened a week and a half ago. And no one said the no one said the balls to tell me. So yes, I wanted to go visit my thing. So I, I've got some pretty good people. I'm well networked. One of my best friends is a lawyer. I rang rang them up last night and I said, This is the situation. They said, Hey, look, this is how it pans out. You can go and visit your mum, but this is what you can do. So my brother, who theoretically knows that the, the hospital has been told that there is a, um, I even hate saying it, but there's a protection order in place, which is a lie, but he would know this because in his message he sent me, he basically, um, I don't know why I'm telling you guys this, but I feel like I don't care and I just want someone to vent to. I'm not looking at the chat room yet, so don't worry. But my brother sent me a message. Now, how would you react to a message like this? Hey, Danny, Ricky here. And we'll just go back to, so my last message was May the 30th. When was the last message to my brother? 
Uh, it says uh, Wednesday, May, whatever. Don't know, but a long time ago. <laughs> so I get this random message from my brother. Hey, Danny, Ricky here. Just think you should know that mum's in Burwood Hospital, and perhaps you might want to see her under the circumstances. She's been very controlled by Ashley, but I think she would like to see you. Anyway, I just thought I would pass the message on to you. And then that's the first message. Second message is, if you visit her, can you please be nice? And don't bring up any of the witness stuff, Jehovah's Witness stuff. So that's like, okay, all right, thanks for the instructions there. Like I'm going to roll up into the hospital and start trying to convert my mum back to normalism instead of Jehovahism. Um, yeah, so that was quite alarming. But, you know, I just wanted to say that. So then now I'm, I'm thinking, did my brother know that Ashley, my nephew, has told the hospital that I've got a, tris, uh, a protection order, which is massive. There's not, but a trespass notice, you can trespass anybody anytime. But really, really, uh, he's telling the hospital that I've got a, um, oh, I can't even think of um uh, a protection order. A protection order is normally served to people that have caused grievous bodily harm to people. And to get one of those, you need to go to court. You need to spend, you know, three to five thousand dollars with a lawyer, and you need to beg the judge that this person has done something terrible. So here I am thinking, I'm talking to the hospital thing. I said, I don't have that. I've never done any harm to my mother. In fact, when when she tried to apply for a protection order, it wasn't her. It was my nephew. But here's my brother saying, Hey, bowl on up to the hospital, Danny, <laughs> and get um. You know, get, um, you know, like I was trying to think, do I go up to the hospital? Do I visit my mum? And then I'm thinking, um, I'm the one that's going to be hurt. Whatever I do, if I don't go and visit my mum, he didn't care about his mother. You know, oh, you should go visit your mum. You know, you, you, you shouldn't say horrible things about your mum. I, I hate the religion. I hate the religion. Um, you know, and I've got people that have come out of the religion who are still going through the same stuff I am. So bit of dilemma yesterday. So if you're watching yesterday's show and you're wondering what the hell happened there, that's sort of a breakdown on it. But anyway, let's see what happens. So we've got um, some lovely people in the audience here giving me hugs, which I love hugs. I'm a hugger, actually. Are you guys hugs? I, I like to meet everybody and give them a hug. That's what I like to do. Um, but I have got a bit of fun today, guys. A uh, bit of fun, bit of fun, bit of fun. Um, yeah, hold up. I'm going to have a mouthful of food before it goes cold. I'm going to have breakfast. Mm. Now, this is this is kind of interesting, this one, because let's have a look. Um, I probably have to go big screen, and, it's, and my big screen button isn't there. What, where's it gone, guys? I, oh, that's right. I was showing Rob how to use StreamYard, and now I need to figure out how to get into the settings to bring up what I want. And that's going to be hard. Oh, there it is. Settings. Oh, and I've got a new watch. That's a different story. Seven o'clock, everyone. Seven o'clock. Okay, we've got layouts. We're going to tick all the layouts because I've shown Rob how to turn them off. And boom. Now we've got, there we go. Have we got that one? Oh, there we go. Now look at this. This is actually classic. Now, as I said, I got 12, no, I've got 30 videos of Hyperverse together. And I got all the people, um, who are in these Zoom meetings sort of as one. And I'm probably going to have to open this up to full size so I can actually see the people. One second, please, caller. Oh, that's much better. I can see it now. Um, expose them all. Are we talking about the Jehovah's Witness people? Hey, and that's why I do what I do, because my life's been so screwed up with the religion. And as I said, you've got people in the religion that just lie. My nephew's not in the religion, by the way, but he was brought up in it, and he used to go knocking on people's doors like I did. But this is why I do what I do, because I've had people literally tell lies about heaven and earth. Um, you know, I was brought up with a fact. L you know, literally, I was brought up told that everybody in the world was going to be destroyed. Only Jehovah's Witnesses would inherit the earth. All the wicked people, you, <laughs> are going to be destroyed. So when I saw you, I thought, well, there's no point getting to know you. Um, you know, I went, went, um, didn't join any sports teams um, all this sort of stuff, you know, it didn't have anything to do with the world because the world was being done away with, so it's pretty shocking, really. All right, um, <sighs> sending love and light. Oh, you're awesome, thank you very much. Lots of the hugs coming in, wonderful. You you ground yourself what you believe. Oh, Danny boy, 
and your nephew didn't have the sense of mind at all. I don't know why. I mean, um, funny enough, so what has actually eventuated, which I will tell you, which is quite funny, my my lawyer advice was to um, ask my brother. My brother and I, we've, we don't get on, and a lot of people say that, but it's because of the religion. So I wrote back and said, this is what I was instructed to say. I've got great people. I'm really well connected, guys, and I love it. But this is a this is what I got told to say. Thank you for letting me know about my mum. I am concerned, and I would like to visit her. Could you please confirm that she wants me, uh, wants to see me, and is happy to for me to visit her in the hospital? And then I go. Also, would it be possible for us to visit her together? I'm available Saturday night or Sunday morning. Please confirm with mum. And then say, let's, uh, and let me know what time suits, and we will visit our mum together. And that was my message. Haven't heard it back, but it was sent quite late last night. Mm. So a bit of a hard case thing anyway. So that's my life. I hope your life's going all right. We all have our dramas, ups and downs, but tell you what, don't get involved in a religious cult. It's shocking. Hey, the problem with this video is going to be this. And the reason why that's a problem is because you're going to hear the tail end of all the Zoom meetings when they turn all the cameras on and then they basically all say goodbye. But what fascinated me about watching this video, even though it's old, on the left-hand side of this very video, you've got Keith Williams. This is when they're in Dubai with Kalpesh Patel and a lot of the VIP fives <laughs> have actually visited Dubai and they're getting training. But look at the names. And what I'd really like is if you recognize somebody in the modern world, because I'm amazed, like Mark, for example. Can you see that all right? Now, Mark, I know he's still um, still active. Donna, I know, is still active. Um, and Danielle, Danielle on the left, she's still active. And I'm sort of like... I don't want these people that have been promoting uh, hyperverse. And as, as you may know, well, maybe you don't know. Let's have a wee look here. Mm. Um, YouTube Studio. Let's go new tab. New tab here. And I'm going to put that in the, oh, you know, that will do. I'll just go like this. So what, what, what you may not know is I just have to, resize that so I can see what I'm doing. Um, and I can't really bring that up just yet. So we'll just have to go back to this for a second. All right. Um, hold up. Let's get this right, Danny. Really stuffed up this already. It's quite complicated. I just didn't want to open the browser and show somebody who's an informant details. Mm -hmm. Right. What have we got, Danny? Yep, there we go. So now what we've got is we have got at the stage crypto Ponzi scheme Avenger. Ah, there it is. So this is my um, obviously database, right? And these are all the people that I'm currently um, sort of keeping information on. So I, I have that list, and these are what I call active actives, right? And then I've got this list here which shows you all the list of all the people that I've seen in these Zoom meetings. So I've actually got all these people's names. And I've also on the left-hand side, the URLs are all the Ponzi schemes similar to, you know, we are Satoshi, they're happening in the world at the moment. But you can see I've got a big list. I think I've got about 300 names. And I've gone through all these Zoom meetings and plucked out these people's names. But when I see that they're actually setting up their own Facebook groups and they're marketing it, then I bring them into this area. And, you know, like, for example, this lady here, I'm just doing a random. I've only got a photo and her Facebook URL and no details. But I've seen this lady in Transit Card, which I've just started investigating. And if you, you know, really want to do well, then you can go to my website and you can submit information anonymously. So this is my website, and it's a bloody good website because it's got this good-looking guy on the cover. But you can click, click on Contact Us, and as you know, you can submit information anonymously. So, hey, some interesting news happened too. I've been talking to Roy Kanatra as well. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I've got some spelling lessons on that one, um, pronunciation lessons on that one the other day, which I'm grateful for. 
But um, he was talking to me last night, and we had quite a lengthy conversation. So it was really quite cool. But he's he might actually pop on the show. And if you are listening now, Roy, you can pop in and say good day. I won't shoot you down. But it was actually quite a nice conversation. And he also shared, because I've been telling people that he received, um, he borrowed $6 million of a friend and invested in Hyperverse. And uh, he's been telling me it's inaccurate, but he's never actually told me why it's inaccurate. But he told me last night, and I can't, I'm not going to repeat it, but I thought if he wants to tell people, some of the things I've been saying about Roy um, um, are quite true. And he says, I'm lying. And I'm going, well, come on and tell us what the truth is. <laughs> you know, yeah, don't let me carry on telling lies about you because I'm not lying. I'm just re relaying what I'm hearing. But um, anyway, so my point there is, uh, my point exactly is, that I have a database of people that are worth who are still actively involved in promoting Hyperverse. And I want to take this to town. I haven't stopped. Crypto G did a fantastic video yesterday exposing the Ponzi scheme, but I still want to go out there. Whoops, hold up. And I want to expose th these people. These people are what I call proactive at promoting them. They've been involved in Hyperverse, Hyperfun, you know, we we Global, Novatech, Cash FX, um, Let's go for it. Let's go. We've got all the hypers, you know, you've got hyper tech group, hyper capital, hyper fund, and, you know, hyperverse, hyper nation, hyper cosmos. And if I just went through, I've got super one. I'm just thinking of a few off the head. Um, we've got GS partners. Um, we've got uh, Jan Gregory and all his, um, you know, today goes, whatever they're called. Uh, we've got all the, the metal guys, you know, the gold and silver guys. Um, they are literally promoting. Um, MLM. So, yeah, so that's just interesting. So, let's go back to. Oh, that's much easier. Okay, huh? I had you an apple. Look. Oh, no, let me apple. Come stick your head in and say good day no, to my people. No, no. Give me a kiss. No. Come and give me a no, kiss. It's an apple. You made me an apple. Give me a kiss. No, no. I'm, Come here. I'm good. Mm. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. That's the arm of the lady I love. She loves me and she gives me lots of support. And she won't come on camera. Her name, her name is Fiona. Is that your name? Yeah. Fiona. Yeah, she thinks I'm nuts, but she supports me so much, and I've got so many cool people. See, when you have problems with your family, you realize that your friends are, um, you can pick your friends, but you can't pick your family. And that's the honest truth of it, really, isn't it? So I've got lots of really good people in my life, and the problem I have with my mum, I can't share that with her, that I've had a great life. She always says, oh, you'll be happier if you're in the Jehovah's Witness Church. I'm going, no, I won't be happier, mum. I've got lots of good friends. I've got lots of good people. And I think this is what I get about these Ponzi schemes and scams. They're actually relationship build, uh, killers, aren't they? Because you go to your friend and you say, hey, <laughs> I've got an opportunity of a lifetime. You get money off your friend when they sign up, and then when it all goes pear-shaped, your friend goes, what would you do? Why did you do that? And why are you still promoting this stuff? All right. I can see some names in here. Mario. Now, I saw him in a leadership meeting. And then three days after the leadership meeting, he was in another meeting with Sam Lee. And they were talking like they hadn't seen each other for ages. And I go, three days ago, mate, you were in a leadership meeting. So Mario, the hyper driver. Remember him? Bit of a laugh, isn't it? Then what else we've got? We've got um, anyone. I'm just going through these names here. No doubt you guys are having a look as well. We've also got Brent Harding. So she's been here. These videos are way back. This was actually probably about 18 months ago, maybe two years ago. June Davis, I'm going to get some of these names wrong. She's still active. And obviously, Danielle, she's very active. They're in these meetings all the time. And often at the end of these meetings, well, when they do the question and answer part of these meetings. So here's another another day, another day in paradise, p p learning how to scam people. You've got Jackie Homer's. There's another lady which I've got a database on. Um, it's her name's actually. Um, I don't know if I can do this. I'll just do something clever. What I want to do is go to here, um, and I'll just get this. Um, 
I'll just see what I can do if I do this right. So what I wanted to do is I want to be able to flip back and forth. Yeah, that's it. And I want to be able to make that fit the window. So tricky what you have to do these days. So this fits the window. And also uh, Jackie. So I've got Jackie. Jackie. And I'm telling you, Jackie has a funny name. Um, oh, there she is. So Jackie is here but her name is actually uh, on her facebook page Holness west jackie oh look we'll do that again Holness west jackie mm. so it made for me uh, hard for me to actually find her funny enough to be honest so i did find her and then i realized that she was on these meetings every every friggin um, day and look she's got roses there i don't know what's going on with those but anyway um, she's still rampant and she's uh, obviously trying to look sexy on a motorbike, old photos. But these ladies, you know, as lovely as they might be and good people, they were actually out there, you know, rolling the bus over people, trying to get them to sign up for, um, you know, stuff. So when I see her in this meeting at the stage, she hasn't been around. Is she going to sneak away with a whole lot of money and we never see her again? Because if I, if I'll tell you now, guys, if I made a whole lot of money in here, um, call you. Um, uh, sorry, I'm just reading some of the notes here. Well, let's catch up. Uh, let's go show. Oh, Danny boy, we've had that one. Uh, your nephew did not have the sense of mind to call you. My nephew wouldn't know. It wasn't really about the sense of mind. It was the fact that... Um, he hates me, and he he honestly is like my son. I I literally went back home to help bring him up. It's just the religion, though, and he's not in the religion, but he treat you know he lives like he's a, like a cage fighter, and he wants to. Uh, he rang me up one day telling me he wanted to smack me over, you know. So it's quite threatening. <laughs> um, you know, it's just there's no you know like uh, they're stubborn as well. My brother's very stubborn. Um, yeah. It's really weird. Uh, and what was the last one? A bit, you know, people think, yeah, so no, that's right. I just might have been reading the wrong comments there. But anyway, that's okay. Hey, let's carry on here. Let's see what we've got. This is quite fun for me. It's like like playing that game at the circus where somebody pops up and you sh you hit the hit the crocodile head down, isn't it? <laughs> Andrew Martin. There's somebody I haven't got a file on, but I don't know anything about him. Um, but I know I've seen his face a few times. And also I've noticed that some people, there's a lady called, um mcdonald oh i've got kirsten mcdonald and she now has a, a cobit name that i've learned like dale in the top center of the screen dale dot 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 you know he's learned not to use his real name and also one three four six nine four you know if you know these people's real name put their username and put their real name and, and then i'll pick it up of the chat later on stop it again um uh, i remember andrew martin now he used to work with uh, he used to work alongside uh let's just call her not Tammy Jackson, but Jackie, I think her name was. And they used to do training on Wednesday nights, I think. A lot of these people now would realise that they obviously had lost their money and been scammed and probably just Gave up on the bye 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 so I want to show you another video which I prepared as well. I prepared this actually about five days ago. I always sort of have a ooh, what should I talk about moment. Uh and that's this lady here wherever you are so this is actually uh this is one of the most disgusting people i know so there's jackie there that's the one i'm talking about where's she been lately is she still promoting these scams has she found out i could have a mouthful of food but while i'm having a mouthful of food the reason why uh, i called her the blurry faced suckerfish lady and it was coach whitney smart and she used to complain if i put her face on the internet 
she used to complain and I'd have to blur her face out. So as a rule, Whitney's smart, as a rule, I would blur her face out. And then when I was doing my commentary over these videos, I would tell people, what type of lady would get out there and promote a scam and then want to hide her identity? It's okay for you to have your face out there in public, but why doesn't she? And then people go, isn't she horrible? What a lady. Fancy doing it like that. But it wasn't her blurring the photos. It was me getting in first. <laughs> Some of the evil things I used to do. But this lady blew me away. And she used to gaslight the community. It's the first time I actually learned about gaslighting. And you might realize why I often say they gaslight people. This lady was literally the worst. I'm just going to play a little, a little bit of this video and we might go back and forth to it. But listen to the way she talks to people. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, in wherever you are, this has been um, a very interesting time. And <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of chuckling to myself at how funny the universe, God, whatever name you give that higher power is. Um, <laughs> because the last thing that I would have thought that I'd be doing right now is training. Um, and that's because I am in deep grief right now. Um, and it's been a difficult week. Um, I have been dealing with grief in different ways. So this is what they do. Um, Rob's just sent me a message. Most of the boomerang transactions are falling due to the gas fee issue. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> I commented on the Telegram page and got banned. Oh, Rob, I'm sorry to hear that. Hey, welcome to the ban club. Um, this is what you call a shit sandwich. And normally a shit sandwich is good stuff first. Shitty stuff in the middle, and then at the end, you kick it home with praise and saying you're wonderful people, but I've already got my message out, so I don't care. This lady here has given us what you call the the lifeboat, uh, the lifeboat, the lifeboat speech, and that's when they tell you that they are feeling more pain than you are, and she's in the same boat as you uh, when they've scammed you. So this lady's job, I believe, if you remember um, Coach Fiona, Fiona, the lady that went to Hawaii, she's in where, I reckon that's her replacement. I reckon the scammer promotion book says that you must have 40 people in your team. You need somebody who's a coach. You need somebody who's good with technology. Keith, well, not Keith Williams, Carl Miller. <laughs> Did you see my video? Yeah, it's quite cool. Eh? Just put it online. Um, yeah, Carl Miller getting grilled by um, one and only the Avenger, George or Tugman, or Bob, that was a real classic. But anyway, so this lady here gives you a speech about how her life is shit and how she was strong and how she came out fighting today for the community. And then the community sits there and goes, oh, well, who am I to complain about my, my money that I've lost? You know, and this is the attitude you've got to employ. And at the end, she really tells you what she wants you to do. And it's all your problem. And one, this isn't the worst video of her. I've got another one where she where she says, no one told you to sell your house. No one sold you to sell your, uh, to quit your job. And put all the blame of all the money that's hyperverse will stop paying out back on you. And this was right at the stage when the funds are frozen and they're trying to keep the community together. And the topic that I'm going to talk about uh, just for a few minutes this morning is about perspective because there is something about grief that gives us truly perspective on everything. And I think when you're dealing with grief in different ways, it gives you different kinds of perspective. So this last week and a half has been really tough for me personally. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. A man that I considered my pretty much closest thing to my dad. Um, he was my, he, <laughs> I almost married his son. So he was someone that I grew my whole life. I knew him my whole life. And um, he dropped down dead. Like, you know, and this is a sad story, but honestly, after watching this conniving cow, and I shouldn't say that, I can tell you that I wouldn't be surprised if she just made this story up. Honestly, I've seen these people at work. Just saying. Just collapsed and died and he's pretty much my mom's age so um and his son and i are the same age and and 
you know, this was someone who um, I loved and I love very deeply, um, was very, very close to every time I saw him, even after his son and I broke up, every time I would see him, you know, he would look at me and be like, you know, you really, you're, you should be my daughter. I'm like, I love you. I know, like stuff happens, you know, people and relationships and y'all know how it is, right? Like just, you know, sometimes things just happen, but it doesn't stop you from loving people's families and all the connections and things that kind of grow from that. And um, I get the idea, right? He was someone that I loved but and still love. In a few minutes, she's back on track. So let's see if we can pick up on it. People who are on their, who have either transitioned or are on their way to transitioning. I was also just grieving aspects of my life that I wasn't really happy with, you know? That's why I reckon this is made up, this terrible thing to say, isn't it? But I believe that this is made up because she, after about, I, this is I've watched this over a year ago now, but I, she builds up to a climax. She's actually quite a good speaker. It's a bit of a waste, actually. Um, my truly enjoy, but that's me. There's a lot of other people that are terrified of flying. They're like, I mean, if they get some turbulence, they're like, oh my god, like the worst things are going through their minds. But the reason I'm talking about flying is there's there's this thing about flying that every time I get into an airplane, I swear God talks to me and He tells me about perspective. Now, there are days that I have um, flown where it was snowing. And I counted the, the amount of time she goes, arm, arm, arm once, and I just lost count. And it was rainy and it was crappy outside. And there's other days where it was. She keeps stepping outside my blurry bits. It piss, pissed me off at the time. Beautiful, clear skies. But I want to focus on the days where it was really, really crappy, right? All right. She goes on and on and on. But I think if you get into the climax part, it's quite fun. Come here. But like. I say this with love. Some go. of us are not going to make it into next year. That's facts. We are blessed to be here right now. We are blessed. There are people that would give anything to have another day with their family, with their loved ones. Losing a parent is hard. So she's telling you to shut the F up and stop complaining that you can't get your money out because you could die. That's basically her message. And then she just gets into an amazing room. Family that we're burying. We have loved ones that are struggling. We might be struggling ourselves. And we are doing our best to come together and to hold each other up and to stay positive and to remind everybody that perspective is everything. It truly is everything. So really, just please give us some grace and some compassion <laughs> we're all dealing with stuff i know that you guys are dealing with stuff i get it like i really get it you know when you guys are coming on and you're like we need to know when we're getting our money we need to know when this i get it but i also understand that there's things that we can do in the meantime and that's how we help each other it's not about trying to, you know, bamboozle people or, or get people to forget about what happened. No, we all know we're all dealing with it. It's not different for us than it is for you. It's the same. We're in the same boat as you. We've lost money as well. Now, she claims she didn't make any money from Hyperverse, and I don't really care if you made one cent. Well, you lost $10 million. It's not the point. This lady here was designed to put in front of you, to basically gaslight you into thinking in a certain way. And she put her hand up for the job, and I certainly went to town on um, Whitney Smart. Absolutely shocking. But anyway, so what I'm getting at here, guys, with these people that we're um, looking at in this, these pictures, I'll turn the sound down again, is these are other people that have been successful at continuing their journey as scammers, and they have been the ones promoting so if you see any names, let me know. Remember, if their nicknames um there, I'll just <laughs> 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 So here's here's a couple of good old favorites. Kalpish Patel, I was told by a number of libel source, do your own research, that Kalpish Patel made $86 million from his involvement in Hyperverse. And also I heard from Sam's ex-girlfriend that Sam only made 
about three million from his involvement in Hyperverse. Whether it's true or not, I don't know, but that's what somebody thought they had to tell me because they found out. Now, Kalpesh Patel reached out to me and he said, I'm as bad as Sam. And I said, why is that, Kelp? And he says, because you're telling people I was making a million dollars a day out of Hyperverse. And I said, well, how much were you making, Kelp? Oh, I don't, I don't want people to know that. Okay, then, if you're not going to be transparent with me, I'm going to keep telling people what I heard on the grapevine. And then about eight months later, I heard that he made $86 million from Hyperverse. And I don't even know why Cal Pitch would actually tell people that, so I don't know if it's true. Hey, but don't let the truth get in the way of a good story. We had a discussion about that, didn't we, last week? So here you've got Keith Williams, who's dying of cancer at the moment, who I have been told is actually had one, 2.1 million pounds clawed back from the tax department and I've heard that he's getting investigated and that's brilliant because he's in the UK and that will be the first person uh, in the UK to get arrested or investigated. I don't know if he's getting arrested but I do know he's in bad way at the moment. So that was quite exciting when I heard that the other day. Remember I predicted that Rodney uh, Broughton, 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 Bitcoin Rodney was going to get um, locked up and he's incarcerated right now. Same involvement. This is way back. This is way back. So these names are. Bye. Bye. I see Darwin. Who's Darwin? Is he still there? Darwin, Darwin, Darwin. iPad. What about iPad? Do you recognize him? Hey, see if you can spot Grace. wonder if she's in here. That lady, um, second line down, second one in from the right. I don't know if you can see my mouse moving. She looks similar. Um, but you might even see yourself in here. And remember, you might have seen the seen the light. And that's fantastic. I'm not trying to out people who have woke up, by the way, just in case you're sitting here thinking, oh, my God, that's me. <laughs> um, um, oh, that was ages ago. I must get this, um, must get this, this message correct. Uh, let's carry on then. Let's carry on. I wanted to do something. I copied. Oh, that's right. I want to go to the WhatsApp group and post this meeting in case there's a few Avengers not here. I'd like to see Richard. Where's Richard today? We've been getting messages from Richard. He's just between trucks at the moment. So it's quite cool. I'll send a message to Roy Canarcher. He might actually. Um, um, oh, I see. That didn't work. Uh, Roy Canarcher might actually pop in and say good day. I don't mind if he does. I'm quite happy to have him in here. Just saying. Um, Right, copy, copy, copy. Um, what am I trying to do, guys? I'm just sending a few URLs out. Let's carry on listening while that's going on. Thanks, thanks, guys. Thanks, thanks. 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 Bye -bye. Did you hear somebody? This is my favorite bit as they say goodbye. Now, this is interesting for me because there's a lady there called Amanda Lee. I don't actually have any information on her, but she was an Australian lady. And that's why they're going after Sam Lee because I don't know if you know, but the start of Hyperverse actually started with Blockchain Global Sam Lee. And Ryan Drew obviously had a company in Australia called, uh, oh my God, it slipped my mind. Um, oh, I'll come back in a minute. Um, Colin Star Capital. So that was Ryan Jew's company. They owned 40% of Blockchain Global. Blockchain Global started up their own exchange, ATX, something like that. And obviously they lost $58 million. So a lot of the start of this Hyperverse Ponzi scheme actually started from Australia. Then they moved the operation over to Hong Kong. So Hypertech Group is the organization I still believe is behind all this. Uh, but now they moved everything over to Hong Kong. And Amanda Lee, lady I've reached out to numerous times, I haven't seen her anymore. I would love to know her story. And if you were originally on the bandwagon thinking this is a good thing and you've come seen the light and you want to tell your story, bye -bye. please do come on. I love oh, you. Right. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you guys. Have a light day. Thanks for your patience. What have we got here? We all need love every now and again, guys. We love you all, guys. Thank you. Oh, appreciate you all. Hear that? Keep on loving you all.
Amanda, and it, thank you. Wow. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys. All right, Bye. thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for that training. Love, bye, bye, bye. Thank you, guys. When did they bye take bye. me? Bye-bye. 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 Thanks, Lucille. Yeah, no worries. That's right. Don't worry. Be happy. Don't oh, <laughs> worry. Be happy. Oh my God. Oh, this yeah. is where she's making money. Yeah. She's making money. Yeah. A lot of yes, um, oh a lot of withdrawals have been paid. Uh, 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 thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's always been withdrawals. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, sort of thank, you thank you so much. Uh, you know, Thanks, guys. Uh, appreciate uh, you. A problem that really is. Five hundred, and we probably had a couple of hundred trying to get in. Well done. Special. Well, 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 well done. You're in. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Colin Star, that's right. I've already got that brain gel in the summer, haven't I? What have we got? Kimberly, no one in there. No. Um, there was a lady just a wee bit back there, which is what funny actually. Uh, not that one. Well. And she's always in the air. That one there with the red top on, Sharon. And I'm sure that bed head, I've seen it before. Now that sounds a bit strange saying that. Oh, hey, get to hear you, Thank you very much. Have a good Thank you. Now, the guy second in from the right, I'm pretty sure he ran quite a few. Sorry, second in from the left. I don't even know how to explain that right. But I'm pretty sure that he ran quite a few meetings. Uh, and often the person in the top left were the people that were running the meetings. But these people, I pop into these Zoom meetings sometimes, like, oh, I know that face from somewhere. So it always amazes me that they haven't given it up. Just amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thanks. Is that Norma? Is that the lady that rang up Chavez on the top line, fourth one and on the left? Is that no that is interesting? That's Norma. She's been doing this for years. And this is what I I mean, this is this is Danny's brain thinking. But I often wonder if some of these people that you see in these older videos who come into the new videos are staged. And I just don't know. And I wouldn't be surprised that, you know, when you know there's big money involved, that they get a team of 50 people together and they all play a certain role to keep the hype going. But the, if that's Norma, that's interesting that she's been in it for, um, but let's have it. Is it Nora? No, the person that rang Shava's baby is, oh, somebody's my dyslexic coming in. Thank oh, you, Susan. Yeah. Bye bye. Waiting for leadership. Waiting for leadership. You don't know Susie Stealth. She's like damage control for the crypto Ponzi scheme Avenger team. We all got a special mention yesterday, didn't we? All got our role in Captain. Uh, was I because you said Captain, and I was going to start the morning's video of saying thank you for flying Air New Denny. Uh, your destination today is exposing scams as a captain of an aeroplane. And then you come in, I think you called me Amber, Abril, Am, Emerald, Emerald, something like that. <laughs> anyway, long story short, uh, it was because you'd already watched Crypto G's uh, video. Now, when I went and looked at Crypto G's new video that dropped yesterday, there was only five people. So you must have been on the pulse and watched that one. 
It's Father's Day, by the way. And there you go, Sheila Morris. Second one right next to Keith. And that's what I was saying before. So Keith's running the meeting. The co-host is Sheila Morris. Sheila Morris was also um, the, like the lady who kept it going for um, Brenda Chunga. And also when Keith got sick, I heard that Sheila Morris told her community that Keith had stage four cancer. And that is where that rumor come from. Whether it was true and factual, I don't know when, I don't know why, but that's what I heard. And then for, for about four months, I thought it was just a, um exit strategy for Keith because he disappeared after he was made the global sales representative for hypernation, whatever that meant. At that time, Keith Williams actually believed that he could trade his way out of this going by his best friend um, who says that Keith didn't realize that Hyperverse was a Ponzi scheme until the money started, you know, stopping, which I just mentioned before that the money was stopping all the way through. Stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. And remember all the lies of Stephen Reese Lewis. No one, I remember challenging Keith Williams in a Zoom meeting to who is Stephen Reese Lewis? And he goes, oh, he's a real person. Well, we just had an article come out the other day about the fake CEO and they have found the real person. And he claims he knew nothing about it. And all the false claims they said he was horrified, his words, he was horrified uh, when he realized all the accolades they said he had, like he was, um, he sold his, his software development company to Adobe, things like that. He didn't even know about it. So here's Keith Williams telling everyone that Stephen Rees Lewis is a real person and we're good to go when he never, ever had saw Stephen Rees Lewis, never met the CEO of the company he was spending every um, day of his life promoting. Shocking, just saying. D uh okay isn't it o k e h i think now if she did you see her pop up in here she, she's um also uh she's the right hand lady for pinnacky knock um but there's also some other stuff that was um just recently about her. Hey. Uh, I saw her and she's pretty much diversal. But yes, I mean, she was like the right hand. They all seem to have their sidekicks who um, back them up. So, oh, yeah. Are you ladies together? Now, there's a guy at the bottom here. Is that a lady or a man? I should get that right. Name Mark. That's a man. Unless it's Mark's, I don't know, it might be a trans, uh, trans neutral name. I don't know. But anyway, I've seen him in videos uh, all the way along. There's Bill, uh, oh, you can't see him now, but Bill at the bottom right. Now, he, he had a tragic story. He was actually a, a full time caregiver and looked after his son. And it was like he believed, I believed he was in a, his son actually died. And I believe that he was, um, you know, seeking to be part of a community because of the hardship he was going through. And he basically said he would follow them to the end of the earth and believe anything these guys said. And I wonder how these guys are feeling now, you know, because some of these people have really sad stories. And I think that's why people cling to these communities and, and like to be part of this. Oh, 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 so Anthony, who's right next to me now, that <laughs> look at that. I can point with the second camera. That guy there, so he's still involved, is he? Well, there you go. He hasn't learned his lesson, has he? So he must be making his living from multi level marketing, eh? Um, who's the lady at the top? left at the moment i haven't seen her before but the fact that she's up there she must have just opened her mouth and it pops them up way at the top for a second or two but yeah okay so that's guy and mark i don't know if you can see him but he's he's over to the right there <laughs> 
Oh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Oh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Oh, Bitcoin. 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 Bit
But you know, uh, when you're in these Zoom meetings, guys, I mean, you really want to do well. You don't want to do anything. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing. And that's great. I mean, I'm out there. 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 i am out there 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 i am out
I don't know. Did you see the conversation there? It's gone right. That's cool. So what have we got? Waving people, Keith Williams. Have we got anyone else in there? Let me know how we're standing. I'm just shut the microphone and tell it to use a stereo microphone, which means that I have to turn off the echo in, which means you might hear a wee reverberation from the speakers. Now, I might sound really good right now, and would you believe that when Rob comes in here and talks, um, I have to readjust my microphone settings again. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to remove me off the field there and just have me talking here nicely. Hello, everyone. And if this sounds better than it does, we're about to say it. No, I might have a hot mic. I mean, it's pretty sensitive. But I'm looking at my bar at the moment. I'm not yelling. I'm not going. Ha, 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 ha. All right, here goes one. Okay, here we go. Here's a couple of people in here that you are. Valerie A. Campbell. She was a big player in it. Haven't seen her for. And Susie. VIP3. So she got to VIP3. I couldn't remember that. She might even be more now. But she was on the Hype and Nation uh, video. And she also allegedly bought a purple node. So she's still rampant. So she hasn't learned her lesson. So she's still hopeful that she's going to build her downline and get a lot of money real quick. Can't hear, can he, can't hear you barely. Is that right? Can't take the hyper. Can't hear you barely at all. Man, just pisses you off these settings. Hold oh, right, on one minute. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something else. Um, sound. I'm just gonna make sure I've got the sound going right through the computer. Obviously, it's still got teething problems. Sound. I have to go to work today too, by the way, so we haven't got a hell of a long. We've got seven minutes before we can see. Now, turn that off. Oh. Okay. What I've done is I've adjusted my microphone on the computer, but I haven't adjusted any of the settings. So am I, is it actually quite good at the moment? And the stupid things, which you won't believe, but because I'm doing it, putting a video on, it, it, it stuffs up the sound again. Well, they said meeting is live. Oh, they said meeting is live. Yes, the sound is good. So I haven't actually adjusted it. There could have been a problem on my hardware because my hardware uses quite a lot of CPU while I'm broadcasting and streaming onto eight different platforms. And if you are on a different platform other than YouTube, can you please say good day in the chat box? Because it would be nice to know who's actually watching on other platforms. Thank you. Uh, right, let's carry on. So we've got uh, Susan Goldsmith. I found out her last name. In here. Uh, blockchain. I don't know what that one's all about. And obviously Valerie A. Thank you. Bye-bye. Cool. Thank you, Valerie. Um, and we've got messages coming in on the crypto Ponzi scheme. Thank you, Valerie. Thank you, Valerie. Thank you, Never oh, gave the crypto world a single Oh, yep. Yeah. 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 Guys, that was good. All right, so that was, that's better. Right, well, what else have we got here? I just love, I used to sit here for hours trying to do my investigation. But Valerie A. Campbell, she used to do our presentations and things just like we remember seeing Coat Whitney. All right, guys, happy Palm Sunday. I mean, I've got, to, I've got to stop this for a second and just go back to Coat Whitney. Listen to her, just listen to her go. It's worse. Oops. But you know what makes us See, now I've lost all sound on that. We so, hold I, each there's other. no sound on here at all. Jackie and Valerie so how's that work? have been two of. So then I see because I've turned my sound down. So to get the Dr. sound back, Dr. J holding me up. I'm, I don't even my know if you can students hear me. in my class 
Rosemary Edwards, I love you. Super Paulette Franklin, I love you. With her. It's incredible, you know, and you think, Virgin, what did I do wrong here? For a new audio. So then you just go, put it back. They hold me up. And no sound. So this so is what this is in the pop you, you know? So add to stage. Bye bye. Sound. Bye. Gone. Bye. 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 So then they go, bye. all right, then. So you, you can bye. obviously, bye. I'm pretty sure you can do that. So now I've got the phone. Just my uh, okay, so now we should have sound and I've lost the sound to my video. And I don't even know what I'm doing now. So you can obviously hear me, but for the rest of this broadcast, you're not going to hear any sound of the video. So I'm just going to flip onto this stage and um, I'm going to go back to here and then I'm going to try shocking it. <laughs> right. So now I turn the sound down manually, and I'm guessing that you can hear me okay. And I'm I wouldn't um be surprised if my sounds got back to crap mode. But let me know. I would love to know. But obviously I can turn the sound up and down now. But I don't know if that interferes. It's complicated, I tell you. That's what I want to do. Anyway, back to spotting people's names. We've only got three minutes, and I haven't got through this. I'm going to do some big gaping junks. So let's go. Let's work backwards, okay? So let's go to the end of this video. Oh, uh, let's go back. Oh, babies. Uh, inspire. It must have been. So you're obviously Valerie, Valerie, Valerie A. Campbell. Uh, Ants. I've seen his face before. Uh, Derek Wilson, haven't seen him before. Oh, well, haven't seen him recently. That's what we're trying to do here. So now I'm going to go here. Um, names. Ah, oh, damn, was this live? Okay, thanks, guys. Let's find it. Add to stage. And let's go. Are they live already? Oh, that's great. All right. I love this. Let's go. And let's see. Hey, so let's find the room ID. And let's get into uh, finding them. Have I got that right screen? I have. There we go. I'm using the right screen. So now we're going to go to uh, We Are All Satoshi. And we have got live. So they'll be pleased they got their Zoom meeting back online. They're live, but they're not live. They're not broadcasting. Okay. So is that what I'm hearing? So if I'm going to put that over here. We'll just put that in another window. And I will get that ready to go. That's over there. Put you guys over there. You can't see me moving my screen, can you? But trust me, I am moving my screen. Um, so I am right, and they are live, but they're not live. Hey, um, maybe I should try phoning in. How about that for a laugh? That would be quite cool, wouldn't it? Let's, we haven't done that for a while. Has anybody got the, the codes there for us? Um, let's have a look. I'll get um, my WhatsApp up. Just chuck them in the window if you want, if you've got them. Uh, I think I might already have them, but I'll just actually have a wee laugh. Oh, we have got them. I've got them. So let's just try this for a laugh. So what I really want to do is I want to, um, first of all, we're not live on the internet here yet. But what I will do, I'm just going to rename my ad about to a name which isn't Danny De Heck. <laughs> I'm just going to put, um, I, I don't know, what should we put today? Should we pick a name? Let's pick uh, Whitney. Let's call myself Whitney Smart. Whitney. So in the list, you'll see Whitney Smart. Whitney. So I'm renaming my thingy to Whitney Smart. Whoops, smart, smart wrong. You can't see what I'm doing. Hang five. Whitney Smart about, now I'm on my laptop and I'm going to use, um, whoops, I'm going to use FaceTime, I'm going to do Zoom, so this is what we've got. Where are we? Welcome to Zoom. Enter your meeting ID followed by hash. Okay, so we're going to go 801 Six three. Does anyone know that's the same number as the other day? Here we go. Oh, hash. 
Oops. Enter your participant ID followed by hash. Otherwise, just please enter the meeting password followed by hash. Here we go. Three seven one six hash. You have joined the meeting as an attendee and will be muted throughout the meeting. <laughs> there we go. So let's continue with this video here. Uh, and while we're here, let's report the meeting. Oh, right. This is quite fitting, really. So to report the meeting, you want to use... Oh, shit. I didn't realize that was music. Just turn that music down for a bit. Uh, go to that there, and the meeting ID is... Uh, um, I've probably got a, a music strike now. It pisses me off. Uh, and the ID is ID that... Password is that eight zero three seven one six boomerang. That's it. So there's the ID. And what we're going to do, uh, official Zoom. The host name is official Zoom. Laugh. Oh, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to go back to random place here and look at these guys, and then we'll just let that play in between. Um, and that, what you're looking at here, guys, we are listening. We're listening to, we've phoned into the Zoom meeting, we're listening to it, and we've got historical Zoom meetings, all the ends where people literally come in and say goodbye, and we're looking for names, because who is that person? They might have a nickname. You might know their real name. And if you do know the real name, just put their nickname equals and their real name. And then I can add them into the name and shame list. And I welcome you. Here we and go. My name is Grace, and I have the pleasure of being your host this evening. The fallen judge. And I hope that you caught a bit of that buzz, that bit of that buzz of successful feeling because you are. She sounds here terrible, doesn't she? You are in the right place. You are in the right place. Wonder if this I is a recording. Who all the newcomers are? Can we get a hand raise? Raise your hand to go ahead and show me who the new folks are, so that I may recognize. As if I would do who that. Has been invited to be <laughs> here for the first time or joining us for the first time. Oh my goodness! Well, look at all these new people. Thank you all so much for being here. Growing. How many is it, Grace? Are you going to say what? the number, or are you just going to make this up? So, Man Manisco, Manico, Maniac. I think it's Maniaco. Crypto <laughs> Maniaco. That's great. I love that name. Titus, that's how wonderful to have you here. One, how wonderful the to sound have is you atrocious, here, isn't all it? Of you. Thank you for joining us today. And Heather, how nice to have you. And said Han said Hansen, Miss Anna. So nice for all of you to be here. Make sure that you are able to get back to the person who invited you here uh, today. Okay, make sure that you're able to get with them as soon as possible. Today is um, Friday. We are going to have, this is a webinar, and we're going to have a presentation. Then this has been pre-recorded, I reckon. And then we're going to have a little bit of tips and some information for you to take away and think about. Can you guys hear that so, all right? As there is, I just want to draw your attention that there is a Q&A, there's question and answer feature a button here. Please put your questions, questions only. 
into that particular Q&A using that feature, we'll get your questions answered. And um, so, but right now, what you need to do is bring out your pen Broadcasting their meetings via so that you can go Zoom to their YouTube channel using your services. Absolutely wonderful presenter here today. Who has achieved the rank of Sheba? In fact, I like to call him, you know, and I have a nickname for him. And he is a leader, a forthright leader, and a person who is doing some moving and shaking in this. I will also provide a list of all the other companies doing the same. Down, they all need to be blocked. Be I have noticed that you guys are blocking the meetings but they are setting up new um, meeting ids right now, hope this helps the fight against the scammers week, the one thing that you will recognize about this particular presenter is is videos he will share that playlist with you so that you will be able to um learn from his videos i'm talking about none other than shiba joe joe how are you this evening? Thank you for joining us. And please, I invite you to the stage. Hello, and thank you for, uh, as always, Grace, thank you for a wonderful um, introduction. Uh, I'm unable to open my video, if that's possible. Oh, that's OK, it's probably. So I'm uploading files about that's Grace okay, Zumba. My video running. So, so if you want those files, ever let me that, know uh, that they were in our, given to me by, people. sorry, uh, they were given to me by um, George. And I just upload the PDF files so they've got them, even though they've already got them. All about sharing an opportunity with friends, family, and other people that you care about. Right. So now we'll I'm go going to email. share my screen. And as Grace has already said, please do grab a pen and paper, do take notes. And do report the meeting be because it really does make a difference. So that's and that's what I normally do. And now they have the ID of the of the meeting in question. But you're the person who introduced you. And just before I press submit, I will check my own chat room to make sure there's no other Zoom numbers. So that other people have given me. Begin. Here we are talking about affiliate marketing 2.0. So right. let's, let's take a second to think about this. Affiliate marketing 2.0. What's different about it? Why 2.0? Firstly, I just want everybody to think about how many times in their life they have looked around we go. Submitted. and thought there has to be a better way than this daily drudge getting up at eight o'clock in the morning six o'clock in the morning getting ready for work spending eight see hours how they a day play on that emotional attachment on people probably don't like with people how's the sound going now guys get on with purely because grace is on work with them one might say send you a pdf you oh you home. rock okay i'll have a look at that and that's really your day done isn't it because you're giving the very best of thanks yourself susie you're absolutely freaking awesome honestly you are you're giving the very best of yourself to somebody else's business You're giving the very best of yourself so that the 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 owner of that business, the person who's providing you with a job, is able to cool. fulfill, fulfill. Have you got that PDF dream, about goal. Gracie Baby? Now, for some people, that's you know, that's okay. They're happy with that. I mean, my mum and dad were perfectly happy to go to go to a job every day, do their shit. So all the people that you've seen in the video are from meetings that were people. could be over there a year, a year and a half to, ago. To live life. There must be a better way to and live I'm life. Just using it to and jog your memory. It has been my Who's still actively it promoting it the stuff? Tell Peace Patel was, but he's promoting other stuff now. What is 2.0? For anybody that's been involved in affiliate marketing for the last... I'm hoping that the people years, that you're looking at... You'll probably notice... That the only have ones actually that woken are standing up. are the ones that are product based. Certainly in the crypto space over the last few years, many of us, if not all of us, have seen many crypto affiliate programs come and they rise. Sorry, I'm just collapse trying to get things going better here. In a flurry of dust and disappear, leaving 
people often with big losses. And affiliate marketing 2.0. Yeah, I'll be honest, I had the wrong change. volume knob. It is bringing a new way of doing affiliate marketing in the crypto space. And we are doing that by creating a product led company. Not product -led an ROI company. based company, not something that you put money in and you get money out. Now that the reason why they're doing that is because uh, if a company has a product attached to it, then it falls down into the category of being a pyramid scheme, and it's not so illegal. So that's why they're claiming that this is their product. That you can trust, and that is what Affiliate Marketing 2.0 is all about, and that is being brought to you. Imagine if they lost their meeting in midstream. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be... And we're all um, Satoshi is the brainchild of this man. Chavez. Right. I don't have the great. Oh, and right. Chavez I do is have it. A tech genius. This is a man who writes AI for some of the biggest companies in the world. No, he's only 28 he gets white labeled old. services and, and, and he gets him skinned with his own brown, uh, brown. And normally we skip over this bit fairly quickly. Here you go, Susie. And I've always referred to Chavez in the last few Be honest, weeks. I haven't actually read it. As the postman. And just in case you he don't have it, here's the um, PDF. But you know, there's so much more to this man. In the time that I've got to know, we him, should actually put I've a collective PDF. Shut up, Carl. Me. We should actually put a collective PDF together that basically a template of proving something, some multi-level marketing thing. Because I want to go after all these other companies as well, and I reckon it'd be great to have a standard or a Google Drive of PDFs ready for each Ponzi scheme. Any volunteers? <laughs> <laughs> Not me. Chavez is here but George has done a good job with that one. So if anyone was watching Grace pushing this Ponzi scheme and they got that document, it would show that she's a dirty, disgusting scammer. Not a judge. I can tell you there's nights where this man gets only two to three hours sleep because he works really hard to make sure that he can bring everything that he promises oh, to this community. To and he doesn't. Sure that he can fulfill his goal of helping everybody be successful, helping everybody feel that they can have a safe space. Right, I'm just going to duck off to the loo. So if you Hopefully are here for the right. first time, I urge you to make sure that you're back on Wednesday nights where you can see Chavez speaking and giving us all updates on the things that he has achieved and things that he's planning to bring in the future. And what Chavez's goal is through Affiliate Marketing 2.0 is to secure liquidity to ensure sustainability through the We Are All Satoshi project. Now, I talked about being product-based. Well, this is the very first of our products. The COD, the COD20 miners that mine Bitcoin code. And Bitcoin code is the re-release of Bitcoin. Chavez has recreated Bitcoin for the second time and Bitcoin code is the second chance for you to be early. It is decentralized just like Bitcoin. It is the exact duplicate of Bitcoin, but with modern technology. I mean, let's face it, Bitcoin is 15 years old and as much as it is the granddaddy of them all, it has become expensive not only to mine, it has become expensive to transact with and it has become slow to transact with. We need something for the modern age and Bitcoin code is fulfilling that space with its very own blockchain. And we are mining Bitcoin code with these incredible NFT miners that Chavez has created. We have the GT1X, which is $50. We have the GT10X, which is $500. And the GT100X, which is $5,000. And each of these is obviously more powerful than the other until you get to the $5,000. And these miners will mine online, not even using any data on your phone, not using any electricity on your phone or in your house. These miners will mine online for the next 140 years. But we are here predominantly to talk about boomerang. And Boomerang is a fascinating concept that combines three elements, and that's arbitrage trading, 
artificial intelligence, and zero collateral flash loans. There's nothing complicated in those three things. Yes, the background technology, but the app itself or the DAP itself is nothing more than the combination of these three things. What is arbitrage? Well, arbitrage involves exploiting price differences of the same asset in different markets or in different platforms. For example, if an asset is priced lower on one exchange and higher on another, traders can buy the asset on the cheaper platform and sell it on the more expensive one, profiting from the price differential. Arbitrage opportunities are fleeting and require quick execution to capitalize on the price gaps. So break that down. I mean, really, that's like, I know that's like buying a rack sack on Amazon for a fiver and then selling it on eBay for a tenner. I mean, what could be more simple? That's really all arbitrage is. On occasion, sometimes you have to bring in a middle, uh, a, a middle person involved in that. You can you buy an asset on one platform, send it to platform B, send it to platform, swap it to Look something else, and then picks. send it to platform uh, C. But ultimately, it, what it really boils down to is finding an asset that is low in value and selling it on a different platform than where it's high in value. Oh, it sounds good in theory. So it could be more simple. <gasps> So there's a guy that's always in it. What's a DeFi flash loan? Well, a flash loan, whilst relatively new to the crypto space, is a form of uncollateralized loan. That's right. You heard that right. It is an uncollateralized loan. A loan where you can borrow funds without having to put your, your house on the line, without having to put your car on the line. The Humphreys. Without having to put any of your assets on the line. You have the ability to borrow assets from a liquidity provider in order to trade. They're available to traders on some decentralized finance protocols, otherwise known as DeFi. And we found three companies <laughs> that provide white label services to borrow with arbitration, whatever it's called, and flash loan services. Amendment. And it costs $5,000 to get Direct yourself set up a website if you want. From a liquidity provider. You can borrow funds unsecured in order to trade. You don't say. So just process it for a second. Processing if you that. know anybody who's a trader, or if you've ever looked into trading, you'll know. You'll know. That in order to trade, you you'll need know to this have is a, scam. a great deal of liquidity yourself. You need to have maybe four or five thousand dollars on any one platform, probably on two or three platforms, in order to be able to buy assets in a blink. Now, we Sell should be able to do this blink. at the same time. And here we are. Now, so we should be able to. In a situation where you don't even need um, money to trade. When a flash loan has been issued, the smart contract. When a flash loan has sure been issued, you will the give them money and they will drip feed the money back to you. It's very similar to a Ponzi scheme. But we like to call the transaction, it. And it's like the loan <sighs> never happened in the first place. What's a smart contract? Basically, just a piece of very, very. We need to get this video out, man. This fully destroys this that runs on concept. A it has to sheer, be sheer, sheer. With a blockchain, or can you guys hear me right? And can you hear me right? In order to execute the program. So in the background, the we have Joe. That's it. Which is a it's family a man with years of experience at scamming people, trying to tell you how wonderful these flash loans are. So, but on the current this is in screen, we have. In a very My head specific being way, moved if around the screen. The conditions of these and these are cannot be met. If you watch this video, you the, money the links in the chat. I go thanks. I think Susie. Um, if you watch this um, video without the words the and follow it, you will see that Crypto G, the captain, like it never, ever is actually time. showing us that this, this is a scam, and we've proved it. Now, this video has only had eighty people look at it in the last twenty-four hours. We need to share it out there to warn these people. So. So Try to drop it. If you're in the you chat room buy an or the question you borrow, room, you won't be able to share it there. Oh, I know where you could do it, though. What you're doing is you are borrowing and that is in, oh, they're lives. The no, that won't that work either. Because um, at that the could moment, be Matic, that could be Ethereum, that could be any one of the thousands. If we go to We Are Satoshi Lives, there is no lives. Is that right? 
you'll borrow 10 Ethereum. The trader uses that 10 Ethereum to buy. No, they don't, Joe. You're on making exchange up stories, pay. mate. The trader immediately sells that crypto Does on he? exchange fees. So they've yep. got to move it. And, and the profits it on get dropped into your MetaMask so wallet from an undisclosed Let's wallet address not connected Ethereum. to the whole transaction. So now, in the finalizing of this transaction, if you look at the flash Crypto G, he's raving on there a bit, old Crypto G, isn't he? The liquidity provider. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. And that means you are now left with one. All right, I just got a message from box. my brother. Now, again, he's obviously woke up out of his drunken coma, coma and decided to ring me up and send me a message. You found an asset. You ooh, ooh, ooh. clicked a button to execute a trade, and the AI in that few seconds will borrow ten Ethereum, go buy the asset. Move the asset, sell the asset, repay the loan. Right. And and if you look at the lines of code on the screen Ethereum. that Crypto G is doing, now where does that one you will Ethereum see this goes. is a load of, of shit. And what he's saying is the it facts. Goes directly and the blockchain to don't lie. Mind. This is a scam. Now, that's the holy grail of MLM. That's the holy grail. The holy grail. Ah. I'm going to go read my brother's Let's message so I'm not going to be 100% in your control. You have the security key. Nobody else can access your MetaMask but you, which means you have full control to be able to withdraw your profits at any time of the day or night. And that means you have now complete freedom to be able to earn as much as you like through trading with Boomerang and know with confidence that you can withdraw those funds at the click of a button. So this is the Boomerang dashboard. Uh, it, you can see it's a fairly simplistic layout. We don't want it to be complicated. It doesn't need all of the charts and everything with all the Bollinger lines and candlesticks. You don't need any of that. This is all done. The objective of Boomerang is to make arbitrage trading available to everybody, no matter what their background, no matter what their education, and no matter what their current situation is. So these are the pairs. That, well, this is the market opportunities page. So this is where you'll be shown a, a section of pairs that are currently live on the marketplace. So here's an example. We want to pick a trade that's going to give us 1% or more approximately. So we're looking at a pair here, USDC and Wrapped Ethereum, which is showing a profit of 1.2%. So what we do now is we go to the dashboard and we enter USDC because the first of that pair in this platform is always the lead coin or token. So that's the first one you put in. Over here, you put the quantity of that coin, sorry, token that you want to borrow. Now, this is really important, and I urge you to please write this down and lean in and pay attention to this bit. When you are applying for the flash loan through the execution of this transaction, you are not borrowing dollars. You are borrowing a crypto asset. In this example, you are borrowing USDC. Now, USDC is a stable coin. So it's a one to one to the American dollar. So here you're not borrowing $100, you are borrowing 100 USDC. And just here, just to show you that flashing, can you see that? That's where it's giving you the dollar amount of what you have applied to borrow. And down here, again, I'll flash that so you can see it. That's where you're going to put in the second of the pair that you're trading. And then you simply, oh, you look here again, I'll let me flash it. You can see here, it's showing you the percent profit. So you need to check the percent profit. And then over here, it will give you the other arbitrage details. Now that's not an area that you need to pay massive attention to, but it's certainly worth a cursory glance. And of course, down here, it will show you uh, how much, I think that's how much you have left 
of your flash loan limit. Oops, let me go back up. Uh, and then if you can go back over to the right hand side, you can see the green confirm button. That's where you would confirm the transaction and it would execute. And at the click of that button, it borrows the USDC, executes the trade, repays the USDC, puts the profits into your MetaMask. Click and earn. That's it. You've heard of click and pay? Boomerang has just created click and earn. So these are the Boomerang licenses available through We Are All Satoshi. So you have license one, which is $500. Any licenses purchased between now and the 1st of March will get an additional allowance. So with the $500 license, you get an additional $1,500 to use between now and the launch date of the 1st of March. Currently, we're in pre-launch. We're during the beta phase. At, from the 1st of March, you will get your full flash loan allowance of $150,000. That's right. You heard that right. You get 300x of flash loan availability when you purchase your license between now and the 1st of March. And then you will immediately get your $1,500 pre-launch allowance for you to be able to demonstrate to people and test it for yourself. There's license two, which is $1,000. You'll get $3,000 immediately available to you as a pre-launch offer. And from the 1st of March, you'll get $300,000 of flash loan allowance. License three is $3,000, gives you immediately $10,000 of additional flash loan allowance. And on the 1st of March, you will get your full allowance of $900,000. License four is $5,000. You will immediately get $20,000 to be able to trade with and see it working for yourself and demonstrate to others. And on the 1st of March, you'll get $1.5 million. Now, look at those numbers. Just before the launch, look, during the pre-launch, you're going to get $1,500, $3,000, 10000 20000 that's free. That's How a doing? free additional Happy set of funds for you. What we've got, Rob? What have we got? We've got. When I asked a question, I got banned. No shit, you you Zero transparency. Just censorship everywhere. And then from the first of March. No anonymous questions allowed on the webinars. Number, either, either taking it off. Up to the bridge. Still nothing. Five million dollars. Where else could you go? Uh, go to hell. To <laughs> Some people saying their the boomerang balances were what disappearing. What the big Actually, there was a real good chat session that I got someone else's money. Other from money. George, OPM, other people's money um, which was brilliant, showing people problems. were very disgruntled. I must never have the opportunity to do that because we don't have access to that kind of funding. But boomerang is giving us that access now. Now, as if this wasn't enough, let's look at license five. $10,000 will immediately give you $50,000. $50,000. To be able to. And you can make six or $700. And family. Check it and out. that's the only See, money you'll get back you from investing $10,000. And $1,000 of that money will, to money will go to a backhander for the person that recommends you into it. And that profit. is the scam, real ladies and gentlemen. Trade, not whether this profit. works or not. And the video that you're looking at, that Crypto G so first, kindly put together of hundreds of hours of research, has shown that this is a total fraud, total lie, and there's no such thing as arbitrage trading with boomerang hello everyone in the chat room nice Let to see you imagine, here imagining having access to it. imagine it so affiliate marketing 2.0 if you wish to be part of the affiliate model if and let's face it why wouldn't you i mean when you have something so incredible why wouldn't you want to share it with other people why wouldn't you want other people to benefit and change their lives we live in an age where people are actually genuinely struggling. Inflation is out of control. Your currency on Oh my god, doom and gloom stories. Because of that inflation. The, the the dollar or the pound or the euro, whatever it is you have today, will be worth less tomorrow. So if you have a way, if you have discovered something real, genuine, trustworthy that's going to change lives. Why would you keep it to yourself? After all, you go and have a good meal and you share it with people, don't you? 
you go and see a great movie and you share it with people. Yeah, it's let's share the movie people. with everyone. Why? Let's share the movie yeah. of so here's the, worst um, the demise, <laughs> the downfall. Oh, I like these messages, Rob. Why are the transactions failing? This is a bit of test well, version. Updates are being made from observations right? and testers are make, making. I'm not reading this right, am I? You are a tester, so thank you for your contributions. Affiliate. Rob came up with a pretty valid point there. Okay, Shut up, Joe. We're just going to make you quiet for a minute. And he said that when you first load the website, all the loading's already done. So why does it blur out like it's loading? And then when it loads, you see all the transactions anyway. So the the beach ball load effect that you see is just bullshit. <sighs> is that right, Rob? Introduce a kickback on boosters. Now, a booster is when somebody uses their affiliate model income to reinvest and buy another license. Is that right? Another miner, whichever it is that they're buying, you get 5% rewards for that. Hey, so Rob, you are a co-host of this. Now, I've got to go to work in about 10 minutes. Directly. I'm and just wondering if you logged in as a co-host, whether you have the ability to end the meeting when it so finishes. Here. In That's other words, can you take over the live broadcast? Next, um, income, part of your income stream through the affiliate model. And if when so, you can you have, give it a go if you want? I'll just be interested to know whether I can hand over the meeting to you and then go to work and then you just basically <laughs> press stop when Joe finishes up telling a whole bunch of lies. Now, we're working on a binary system. A binary system is simply one person to the left, one person to the right. This entire affiliate model. This entire business. Is not a hundred, not a thousand, two. Now, you can, you can refer as many as you like. Ooh, can you? But imagine if everybody just introduced two people. Oh, my God. They'll all go broke. People. I'm a pretty solitary guy, but even I know two people. <laughs> everybody can find two people. This live system is built on hey, everybody Rob, introduced. Hey, look at this, man. What I can control this meeting on my phone. But once you've introduced somebody to the left and one to the no, right, you get a 10%. I said only if I use Safari. Now, the checkback bonus is limited on a daily ranking from $300 to $1,500, depending on the rank. It's been a minute logging in on, rank on Chrome, the and now it tells me to go to Safari. Increases as subscribers climb the rank. Anyone got any questions? So, got 14 people in here. <gasps> and you bought a $500 license. You've Ooh. got two people. You've introduced two people, and they have both bought a $500 license also. That means you... Get a fifty dollar, fifty dollar, a ten percent check match bonus, which is fifty dollars. Now you also introduce a third person who also buys a five hundred dollar license. You get a five percent. You get a five hundred dollar license, which means you get twenty five dollars. So take your socks and shoes off, or shoes and socks off. That's the correct way round. You can add those things together, and that gives you an income of seventy five dollars. For doing what? For inviting something on your phone. You're not in the coal mine. You're simply demonstrating an incredible opportunity for people to be able to have access to millions of dollars of funds to be able to trade in a way that mm. the banks and building societies and whatever they're called these days are doing have been doing for decades. Your maximum earning amount is restricted to three times the subscription amount. So hash ups for all miners and boomerang licenses. Sorry, hash ups are available for all miners and boomerang licenses. And your hash ups contribute to the total 3x potential income also. So on a COD20 miner, if you buy a $50 miner through the affiliate model, you can earn $150. That's not through mining. The mining is unlimited income and it is independent income directly to your MetaMask. But you're through the affiliate model. You earn $150 for that package. On the $500 miner, you would earn $1,500 through the affiliate model. And on the $5,000, you would earn $15,000 through the affiliate model. And your hash ups contribute towards that. So if you reinvest and buy another miner, then that will also be 3x. On the boomerang licenses, if you buy a $1,500 license, 
uh, sorry, if you buy a $500 license through the affiliate model, you earn $1,500. On the 1,000, you'll earn $3,000. On the 3,000, you'll earn $9,000. On the 5,000, you'll earn $15,000. And of course, on license five, the $10,000 license, through the affiliate model, you will earn $30,000. Look at what we have put together. Look at what Chavez has created. He has created a system that will reward you at every level for your efforts. The more you contribute towards the growth of this ecosystem, the more you contribute towards the growth of somebody else's future, the more you are rewarded. And again, just in case we forget, hash ups contribute to the total you just? 3x potential income. Oh, so there's videos you finished. use your affiliate profit to purchase another license. That's We're not going through stuff. We are. This is the Ascension Club bonus. So these are the rankings that I was talking to. And they start at Sheba. Uh, I don't know if any of you know anybody who's at Sheba. Yeah. No. Maybe somebody recently achieved it. And it goes all the way up to rank of Bitcoin. So when you achieve these ranks, and you can see if you look at Sheba rank, when you do $100,000 of business on your left and on your right, your income cap increases on all of this when you achieve them. <sighs> what have you, you got here in the chat room, guys? On Sheba, you'll get $1,000. Uh, he wants video. On, on Tron, you'll get proofing it's a scam. So <laughs> you'll get I don't think so. I don't think you'll get it on an AI Cardano, that will fit, fill out the Zoom trust and safety form. We do. That would be friggin' brilliant. Automated report service. $20,000 of Polkadot. Can't get Google it Solana, himself. $40,000 of Binance. Yeah, no. Can't he Google it himself? Experience. Yeah, check it out and see if it's a scam. The jewel in the crown they don't want to know anything. I mean, 80 people have watched Crypto G's video so far. You will get That's just ridiculous. $1 million. Yeah, no one's searching for information. Imagine logging into your crypto wallet to see this portfolio. Maybe. Um, this exact portfolio Bob. looking back at you. Hey, Bob. I'm live. <laughs> live, <laughs> Bob. Does it tell you that, does it? When you pop in. Because you're live. You're in the audience. I like you in blue, so. So wow. I spoke to Eunice. Eunice wants the proof, so he's going to regret that. <laughs> oh, did he want a video? So just show him, um, um, what did you call it? Just show him um, 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 Crypto G's video. That'd be yeah, quite cool. Kind of say, well, they're going after Sam Lee, not Chavez. I'm like, they're monitoring the same Facebook, the same Telegram. You guys are using the same thing. <laughs> I, just want to, I just want to do something. When you come into the room. <laughs> And also, I want to do this. <laughs> yeah, you're a friggin' legend, mate. You're like a bulldog, and I would not want you on my ankle. Because <laughs> you just like that 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 message that you had with Carl. Oh my goodness! I I, I spent last night when I didn't really have time, um, <laughs> going through and, and fixing up all the audio, um, and I lifted up all the low bits and tried to equalize it, and now we have a video online that is, is entertainment purposes only, of course. Yeah. <laughs> um, listen to this. It's you hear about it? This. No, that was today, man. Today. What are you smoking? That was yesterday. That was today. Do you know your dates? You even go look at the We Are All Satoshi. It says the 21st. <laughs> it's the 22nd over there in your land. I can't walk my life. It's such brilliant. Then why, then, okay, so let's say you were right. So then why would Grace say, I'll see you guys uh, later? In the so go check out that video. Um Basically, what did you do there, Bob? You rang up Carl on, on, on WeChat. And on the oh, WeChat. And you were just. I, I think my best part of the clip is when I go. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I oh, know it's uh, it's a crack up. I just put the link in it, but listen to this for a second, guys. And find it. Hold it. What was your name, Grace Umacha? <laughs> Hold it. How do you not know, Carl? 
Don't you know the people you work with? You don't know the people you work with? Or is that in violation of the Privacy Act too? No, I just know her as Grace. Wow, you should really do your homework on people you work with. You think that'd be important, eh? Why? Because she's a disbarred judge who has a criminal record? Okay. So, don't you think the stories will, or the newspaper or in Texas is going to be like, hmm, she's promoting another illegal stuff, just like we reprimanded her when she was this judge? Hmm. And don't you think the, we need the to police will go, hmm, hmm, she was working with these people. Hmm, shouldn't we check them out too? Hmm, hmm. She was also connected to Tammy Jackson. Hmm. Who had a front company in New Jersey? Hmm. Who's also connected to Carl? Hmm. Who's also connected to Joe, who runs a repair shop? Hmm. Who's connected to Kate, who works at a college? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> and then Joe. I mean, don't get me started with Joe. <laughs> but don't you think that would look uh, kind of bad? Hmm. All, all, all comes back to you. All connected to. All criminals? So how do you feel being connected to a criminal? Here we go. I'm not connected to a criminal. You're connected to Hajim, who's also connected to Sam Lee. Um, yes, you are. You're, you're connected. You just told me you were connected. You're Evelyn 82. <laughs> so you're connected. Sure. Funny. And you're also connected to Danny Dickhead. Danny, he's a criminal. When he was talking about, I'm not connected to Danny, Mr. Kenny. I'm an independent network security analyst. Boom! Who analyzed your chain, and that's why I should. So go have a listen to that video. That was brilliant, Bob. I really just have to say you've got some good stuff coming out that <laughs> makes me look like an amateur. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, it, it was, that was that was too much of a phone call. That was too good. I had so much fun with that one. Yeah, um, I sort of you get more verse with your you get more you become a scholar in what we're doing because we, we do this day in, day out and we sort of like when you get those moments your heart's racing and you're trying to think of everything to say in a co logical you know, way. <laughs> but when you when you nail it every now and again it's sort of kinda of like that's what I'm good at. <laughs> yep. Um, I yeah. just gotta get better recording software. That's what I because I was trying to hold the phone next to like a laptop while I recorded it. <laughs> so yeah, well, it's amazing what we could clean up because some of that audio wasn't even um, audible, and we yeah. managed to put it up. So it was um, it, see, honey. So um, yeah, so now it's a bit of a hard case, really. Hey, I've got to go to work. Um, I'm going to leave this going, I think, but um, um, I'm going to pick it up at work. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just listen. Okay. We'll just now put. Now I am going to ask you uh, to see if you can perhaps provide a demonstration. A lot of people. Like what are they doing? To see the demonstration on the. Th phone. This is just a webinar, isn't it? And I reckon it's pre-recorded this time. Uh, yeah, let me log in with my phone. Let me jump onto the. Sounds recorded, don't it? Very. Good. I think it is. Very good. We are. Um, I reckon they'll get to the stage that, where they'll either use something like StreamYard. Um, don't want to give them any ideas, yeah, like I'm using right that. now, yeah, and that you can do webinars with the software okay. I'm using, or they will upload their pre-recorded videos that they record onto their YouTube channel, and that's how they're going to go forward question, because they will lose that um, Zoom link. So tomorrow, okay, if we okay, know they have a new okay, Zoom link, we'll know that we're winning. If you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mr. Yunus, Mr. Yunus. Come on, the channel. <laughs> yeah, well, that's that's the ultimate, uh, isn't it? Um, so, and they do have applying for the leadership. Yeah, so what I, I'm going to do a bit of an experiment. So what I'm going to do is add this, this to stage. And this is a video that I'm playing on my local computer with no sound. I'm going to leave my iPad in their meeting. And then I'm going to spend the next 10 minutes driving to work. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put myself... And this is high tech Please stuff, guys. So I've got a GoPro. <laughs> you can stay here and you can do the commentary if you like. I'll put them up to a bit more audible. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into StreamYard of which you have chosen to participate in regarding and log in. And so with, they're going to be. This could go terribly wrong. 
and um, when it asked about the 899 trade as uh is the yeah. nature of technology and rob so, you're welcome to come on the screen is yeah come in now rob if you're going to come and then you can basically well disappear or be in the background but if anyone wants to come in the stream what are you going on about that this 800 900 trade when asked about the 800 and trade grace said and Grace, <laughs> yeah, please <laughs> just the matter with your sponsors up my leader. And then they wouldn't even know the answer to that question. And of course, as with any technology, right, what have I got here? Invite guests into the update. studio, so delete broadcast, view on Rumble, and an unwillingness to participate. Yeah, so it's funny, I can log in here, but I can't seem to stop the live. Do I start sharing? Yes, please. Into the Into studio. The audience. Oh, that's cool. I could stream oh, stuff to the audience too. Oh, that's cool. Sharing, yeah. Oh, you can. No, well, you behave yeah. yourself. You may no tug man activity. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, mate. Well, I'm going to go to work, but I'm now. Um, what I've done is I've put myself on on screen, and theoretically, I might be able to take this over when I get to work on the computer. Okay, so Currently, <clears throat> we and I'll leave it all going, and we'll see what happens, eh? But I will turn off my so, my other um, cameras. Demonstrate you here. Um, so I'll turn those ones off, and top. I'll see you all later. Uh, and okay. um, okay. Right, I'll leave right you in charge. All right, Susie, if you want to come on the stream, you could come on. Rob, you could come on the stream. Rich, if you show up. How do I invite Trucker Rich? Where's Trucker Rich? Ooh, getting a call from uh, Levine Augustine, everybody. Hello. Um, hi, I'm returning a call. Yes, Vivian Augustine. I'm calling. This is Bob. Okay, from where? <laughs> from California. You're in We Are okay. Satoshi? Uh, what is the reference to? You know that We Are Satoshi is a scam, right? Um, hold on a moment, please. I have another call coming in. Okay, so who are you? Why are you calling me, though? Because I want to see if you know that it's a scam. Yeah, I do. Hold on, please. <laughs> Alrighty. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yeah. So okay. So what? 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 What can I help you with? So who? Who brought you into the program? Why are you asking all these questions? Who are you? Why should I answer you? Who are you though? I told you, I'm you Bob. Start asking me. Okay, that's nice. Well, have a nice day, Bob. I mean. It's okay, nice. so then I'll send the authorities to your house. Have a nice day. Authorities for what? What are you talking about? Promoting a, a scam. Who's running a scam? That's not my company. Hello? You're in WAS. You're promoting it. You're making referral commission. No, I'm not. I'm not promoting nothing. I mean, it's like I haven't done anything with my father. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? What, 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 what? Bought from where? From California. From California? What do you do in California? What company are you with, Bob? I'm not with the company. What do you want from me, though? I don't understand. I mean, I haven't done anything. They got uh, hyper scammed. Everything that they did was a scam. Yeah, you're, you're in a group called the VIP, which means you made a certain amount of money. Each group is divided. They mean? have VIP, VIP one, two, three, four, and five. Each group has made a certain amount of cash. 
That's how they split up the well, VIP. Who, who am I speaking to? Why? I mean, I like I have the right to know who you are. I told you, I'm Bob. All right, well, Bob, have a nice day, because I don't know what else I mean. It's like, what do you want from me? I don't understand. What I want to know who brought you, who, 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 who brought, who brought you into Waz. That's what I want to know. Who brought you in? Was it Tammy? Um, was it what? Tammy? Gobi? No, 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 no. He's not even, the person that brought me in is not, it wasn't even, I don't even think they're doing anything. They're from like another town and stuff. So they're from the United, from the United States? Huh? So they're from the United States? Grace? I think so, or Canada, I'm not sure. Eunice? Um, it's either the United States or, 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 no, England, England, I think. England. It was just like, um. Joe? When I, when I got into it, it was. Because the thing is, is that it started off with hyper, you understand, and then yep. it was like they they were promoting um, one thing to the next, you know. So people in the beginning, everybody was like, "Okay, what's going on here?" So you're following them, but it's like everybody just dropped that like a hot potato because it's like they see that it was just scam after scam. Correct. That's why I'm trying to find out who's getting everybody in, but they have divided everybody into groups. And they're adding everybody into these groups. Like you're in the VIP five, which I forget. Well, I don't, honestly, I don't even know who added me there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, I could go roll. I could roll back and find out who, but it, it, it's a long chat. You know, there. I see your, you know, Rory Kanacha's in there. A bunch of Chavez is always talking, and he only does like side conversations to the VIPs. So. No, I think it was um, Sam Lee. There's the, the Sam Lee, the, the biggest scammer. He's the one I think that was putting all that together, along with you know the 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 people. I don't know the people, the main people, or something like that. I guess the people that would. Yeah, there. can you believe that guy is like, starting up another one? He's relaunching Vent <laughs> or Vent. He has he has so many of them. It's not you. <laughs> I lost track, okay, because all I know is that, you know what, it was like scam after scam, and and uh, it was just crazy. So. Yeah, he actually has a room he runs in the morning at, like, 9 a.m., and like, with, like, a small group, it's, like, only, like, 20 people are in it, and there's, like, six owners, and they're, like, have their own version of scams, and he always shows up in there. What's it called? What's it called? It's called Vend, Vend, V-E-N-D. He has a webinar every every air. Yeah. No, he shows up there and he lets the the um people promote their own scam. There's like five or six different ones. Like they all like. What he kept doing is working on people's vulnerability. You know, that's the sad part. It was just working on honest people's vulnerability and um. You know, other people, I guess, it was, it was, it was, I'm sure it's a group of them. They don't work alone, so. No, I mean, they, they don't. don't. I mean, like yep, they're all, it's funny because they all use the same building. <laughs> so, the same what? They, they use, they, if you look at the wallpaper and most of the uh, the videos, it's all the same. Uh-huh. It's exactly the, the same. same. Yep. So it's the same, it's the same building. You it's know, the, but, people because you know people that are vulnerable and you want to believe so they they make it sound like okay we're working on this while we're working on that so quickly you know we just need this we're gonna come through for you and like that it's like patchwork you understand so, yep yeah so but um i honestly though i, I have to go because i'm actually at the hospital, I oh, just okay. move up here. My niece, she's getting chemotherapy for the first time, so I gotta go inside. Okay, if you know anybody else who's in it, let me know, uh, and I could give them the information showing how there's no money in the the, the vault and boom, how Boomerang is connected to Hyperverse accounts. And well, so, so the people that have, because I mean, I know people. I'm sure that it's like they have money supposedly in that vault. 
So that means they're not going to get their money back. It's a lie. And, and Chavez Correct. is a lie, too? Correct. His name is... Chavez Chavez is it's not even his real name. It's Hajim. I can't pronounce his last name. It's like Kalaji or something like that. Because I, oh, I, I Travis is being Kalaji. So what about the the, the, the business that he that he's doing now that it's called Boomerang? That that the, 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 he's using hyperverse money to fund it. it we, we already found out. What happened? What happened to Sam? I thought he didn't want nothing to do with Sam. So it's all a lie, right? He's probably see. You know, my my thing is maybe they they're working together still. I don't know. That I <laughs> actually confronted Sam on the the Ben meeting. I don't think they're working together. Mm-hmm. Like Sam kind of like despises them. <laughs> oh, so, so then, <laughs> like I brought up the name. He's like, I know who that is, and I have I do not want anything to do with him. Like, don't, oh. like you could tell like the anger when I brought up that name in the meeting. He's like, if you have something is going on that because it's like they, it, it's like patchwork. <laughs> it's like people, so many people got hurt. It's a, it's a shame, you know. And I really wish that something can happen because there's a lot of innocent people that you know um, got involved, thinking that it was all good, and 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 it's not, you know. And, uh, so, yeah, I agree. I mean. The, I mean, I would like to help like some of the people who got in. That's why I'm asking if you know anybody because there's a legit, legit crypto, and then there's also like surveys and focus groups and stuff that I was actually part of that I can vouch for that cost zero dollars to get in, and you could do as many surveys as you want in a day, or you do like one, you know, and get paid. I call it beer money, like five ten bucks, and just do whatever you want. But it's zero cost to get in, you know. But I would like to help the people kind of recover some of their money, you know. You know, because mm-hmm. I mean, I w- there's a lot of focus groups out there now asking for people who were in crypto or part of these crypto scams. If you were in one, and they'll pay like, you know, depending on the survey, I see some from like two hundred to like twelve hundred dollars or two grand for like a four day survey. Just to give information on it. Well, you have that. Send me the link, and I'll have to look into that because it's like right now everybody's hurting, and if mm-hmm. anything can help people to 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 recuperate some of the money, that would be great. Yeah, I will. I mean, uh, I'll send you some of the stuff that I'm in. You know, that's what I'm uh, saying. Yeah. If anybody, if you know anybody still in it, like, and you want me to show them the proof or help them regain money and stuff. I'd gladly uh, help them. Right. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is that honestly, I'm right now I've been disconnected from a lot of people for a long time, and um, you know, uh, right now I'm just focusing on these things. A lot of things been happening. You know, um, my mom been sick with COVID, lung clots, and she's 94 years old. So it's like, you know, it's just trying to get a family life together right now. So. Okay, you know, yeah. Send me whatever, and then we'll take it from there, okay? All right, sounds good. Thank you. All right, take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Two for Bob on the VIPs. Hmm. Susie, you want to come on the call? Or should we leave some dead air for a while? See, a lot of people do not know. Who should we call next? Should we try uh, Rob Martin? Let's try Melvin. Can Danny talk? Let's test this out. Danny, join the stream yard. See if you can talk.
Let's see if that Rick. I can't do it today. I'm sorry. Okay, Susie. Rob, where are you at? Call Eunice back. You have to text me to the stuff so I could uh, drop the links to them. I'll find them on, on the air. <laughs> Danny with his crazy uh, video angles over here. <laughs> call Eunice back. Should I call Eunice back? Is that what the people want? I need a co-host. <laughs> hey guys what's up hey hey so you can't hear the zoom anymore can you no but did you hear my call oh i did hear some of it i can't wait to listen to the rerun um I've, I've two for revenges two for revenges yeah i'm trying to figure out why you can't actually hear um the sound, edit microphones. Yeah, now I'm just um, curious. That I, I I spoke to another VIP five. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which one, Yanis? No. Oh, this is great though. If I can leave you guys in charge while I'm going to and from work, it's brilliant. <laughs> yep. I mean, this, is, uh, this will keep the ball going. And we've got 15 people in the chat room still, so we didn't kill it. You must have done some hard case stuff, though, because I heard the start of it. But when I'm driving, I can't, um, yeah, I can't um, get it going. But I'm just wondering if I could broadcast the sound on my phone. It would be really good to know how to do that. Yeah, I don't know. No, I spoke to I spoke to um somebody and she's like, yeah, the scam. Everybody lost their money. I'm like, you know, I offered to help her earn some of the money back using free programs that I'm in. Yeah. So she thought that'd be great if you could send me some stuff, but so I got her. You know, <laughs> Eunice is dying for some like proof. <laughs> so I'm waiting for Susie Stealth to send that over so I could uh drop that into Eunice. So when you rang before, how did you broadcast the sound? Have you got another device and you're holding your phone up? Because that was really clear. Yeah, I have a <laughs> – you don't know – I have a spare phone, so – Yeah. With the with the free phone number, so I called on that. And I had my other phone, like, right next to it. Because uh, what I thought would be a good idea is we could um, we could bring up We Are or Satoshi and um, – 
broadcasting live on the internet. The boss has turned up at work late for a change. It's normally it's me who's late. <laughs> Please say I actually on. We were here before a few days. We are running. We're live on the world here. Now you can say you were 30 minutes live, 30 minutes early. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'd be interested to know if I can somehow get the um the sound of the Zoom meeting I'm listening to. If I had a cable, I could probably plug into the computer. I wonder if that would come through. Well, I guess you could always go on to, I don't know, would, would it, if you logged into StreamYard as a, another user, would it let you stream the sounds? Yeah, well, that's what I've basically done with my phone. So my phone um, at the moment is playing the, I need an audio cable. And I mm. need a, yeah, I need an audio cable. But theoretically, when I was at home, I was using the iPad to send the signal through. So mm. I wonder if I turn the iPad back on. Oh, no, I can't. I need a roadcaster. Oh, I know what to do. If I add to stage, I wonder if the sound would come through on that. I'll just add a few things to stage. No, there's no sound, is there? Well, look at that. There is us. <laughs> what is that there? Yeah, no, that's pretty freaky. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's like my nephew, uh, not my nephew, my, um, my uh, yeah, we've got a teenager at home. Yeah, that's really interesting. So I'd love to know what I need is my cable for sending the sound through the phone to the uh, computer I'm on, and then we'd get the sound coming through. Unless, oh, I know what we could do. We could ring up using FaceTime. We could ring up Zoom on the 0800 number. You know what I mean? Uzi, send that, send the, send the link so we could uh, send over to Mr. Eunice. I think, I think Eunice is the one who brought um the lady in. What's that link? You reckon? Is that um Crypto G's video link? I think. Um, I've got a cutting plan. I'm gonna, I'm gonna load um the oh no hundred number of Zoom on here. And um, I have to tell the boss he can't have his computer. <laughs> <laughs> the orders. He can't. I was going to do orders anyway, he said. I think that's what he said. He said I'm fired or something. New contact. So you might have noticed that the photo that I often had as my backdrop on my Zoom meetings was actually this look with Steve in it. And I recorded him and put a 45-second loop on him. <laughs> so that, um, yeah, it was so funny. So um, that was so that um, when they said turn your cameras on, I just had a loop um, playing. It was so funny. Of him. <laughs> and, then every, and then they thought, I know who he is. And then I'd have to find a new video off the internet, record that for 45 seconds and put that onto a loop. <laughs> if they watched it for more than 45 seconds, I'd see a jump. <laughs> that was what I was doing. Okay, so let's see if we can call um, Zoom. Uh, yeah, it says your phone's not configured. There must be a way of getting that sound off my phone, though. I reckon I know. Right, I've got another idea. You know how you try to nut this stuff out? Okay. Oh, uh, it's Joe. I hear Joe. Can you hear it? Yeah, I hear Joe. Go, this is my YouTube playlist. Where are you hearing that from? Me. So that's your you audio. Know? So you can't, you can hear me. You can't hear me now. I hear you now. Can you hear Joe in the background now? Yeah. Oh, brilliant! Well, there you go. Oh, hold it. Is that coming through my phone or through the audio? Oh, where's your microphone in this thing? Is that where you get the sound from? I'll be making more videos doing demonstrations. Yeah. Do. Oh, that's not, well, that works. <laughs> as long as the customer doesn't come in. <laughs> yeah. The people should be able to help others get started. Even though you're new yourself and you don't know everything fully yourself, those YouTube videos will empower you. They'll empower you, Danny. Oh, I'm going to watch them. Share that YouTube. 
Do it. I should add his playlist onto my channel. No, the Zoom is dead. Susie, what do you mean, dead? I know. Oh, here's Crypto G now. Oh. With that, on that note, we will... There she goes. She's gone. Good day from the judge. Thank you all so much for coming. Maybe I should go on and say, I invite Chavez and Crypto G into a meeting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let's, um, let's try something different here. Switching to screen. Share screen. Today's Friday, right? Yes, Monday for this webinar. So there and, we go. Um, also, this webinar is held. Good day Monday from the Tuesday. judge. Yeah, good day, Judge Judy. Judy. In the cold, uh, cold, 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 I think she's gone there. And then Sunday, we have our master class. They're going to have a masturbating class on so, Sunday. Um, make sure to bring your pencils and pens at that time. Pencils, pens, and paper at that time so that you will be able to absorb. Absorb? She thinks she's a class. Please find them under YouTube. Please find them under YouTube. It sounds like an AI robot. I know. So, I am reading this off a script. Today is Friday. You guys have a great I was just telling you today is Friday. It is not Friday. It's Saturday morning for the New Zealanders. Tomorrow, join us for Saturday support day. Saturday's Q&A. Saturday. Yeah, that you can't get any answers to. <laughs> Oh, uh, you can't ask your question. She, post, she posted in the meeting earlier. <laughs> Where? In the meeting. That was at 2 o'clock. 7, 7 p.m. UK time. <laughs> yes, you were. You were the co-host. Oh, is that still going? And you said, oh, nobody yeah, can hear me. Grace, can you? In, oh, okay. Oh, no. What's she saying? Let me just make sure that I've captured all of these again. Thank you very much for everybody for, for listening. I captured and, all uh, of these again? Something amazing out of it. And we'll see you next time. I captured all of these again. All righty. Thank you. She's going to cut us off now, I think. Goodbye. Well, we're gone. Oh, that's quite cool. Anyway, so at least we know that works. So um, at least I keep the going and I can Oh, look, now coming through. All right, we're cut it off now. Learning. Okay. Okay, we'll cut that off. And now I cut Danny off the phone. I have to make sure I cut him off. Uh, first of all, we remove, we remove the bedroom. <laughs> Here we go. It's not the, it isn't a bedroom. It's a high, it's a $10,000, $10 million recording studio. Oh, no, that's. that's Green studio. Thing. Yeah. Hey, um, I'm going to help my mate do some orders, but what I'm going to do is um, I'll play your video again for people that haven't seen it yet because it's such a crack up. And okay. I've also put the link out there. So if anyone wants to join in and have a chat, um, by all means, follow the link. Come on in here. Have a chat to Bob. Um, I'll be in and out as people come in and out the shop. And by the way, if you want to buy a good watch like this one, I just got this one yesterday. It's beautiful. And the best thing about it, I'm doing a sales pitch here. It's got a light. Look at that, a watch that has a light on it. And you can even make it go red. How many watches have I like that? That's anyway, that's my new watch. All right, so I'm gonna play your video, Bob. But then want, Rob, if you wanna come in and have a quick chat, um, by all means, but in the meantime, I know I've played this a few times, um, but also what I will do is after this one's finished, I'll put Crypto G's video back on again. Okay, Rob's asking questions. Come in here, Rob. Ask, ask Grace the posted the link. Where? You haven't shown me. She posted. She posted in the meeting earlier. Where? Where? In the meeting that was at two o'clock. Seven seven p.m. UK time. I wasn't in that meeting. Yes, you were. You were the co-host. And you said, "Oh, nobody can hear me." Grace, can you uh, can we reboot it and then see? Best is like, "No, we hear you, Carl. We hear you, Carl." 
No, that was today, man. Today. What are you smoking? That was yesterday. That was today. Do you know your dates? You even go look at the We Are All Satoshi. It says the 21st. It's the 22nd over there in your land. Okay. Click what you want. Then why would then okay so let's say you were right so then why would Grace say I'll see you guys uh, later in the Q and A because you guys had problems and if you were on yesterday why would she go um we'll we'll, we'll try this again in a few hours um to because we had problems. Hear this? Because yeah. we tried it again. Um, <laughs> Yeah, oh, I'm not sure. It was not yesterday. If you can't hear it, it been the 22nd, you your day, but where Grace is, it's Here. the 21st. Here. What's going on? I hear it. Give me your phone number. I'll call her. All right, so we'll turn that down. Notice I had to subscribe to it. What do you mean the bridge of privacy? Yeah, um, yeah but if you want to, I'm just She's in it. Texas, isn't she? It's the bridge of the privacy act. Where are you? I can't do that. You, you sharing contact is not a breach of privacy. Uh, yes, it is. No, if you're talking about the G, GDPR, it's not. I don't care what. It's a breach of the privacy act here. How? Because it's against the law. Don't give out personal information without the person's permission. A breach of the privacy law. And the privacy law applies to the person's number you're giving out in the country that they're from. And Grace is from the United States. No. So, yes, she is. Uh, yes, she is. No, it applies to me because I am breaching the law here. She's in Texas. I know that much. I think here. All right, then give me um, uh, Kate's. Which part of breaching the law don't you understand? How is it breaching the law when I am in a program that you guys are running? So sharing information to obtain to the owners or the Presenters is not against the law no, when you're when a person is a member really of the program. Really in it is. No, that's like if you if you have IBM and you call IBM, you know, if so, I go, Carl, you're a member of IBM, but you can't call IBM because you're breaking the privacy law. Your metaphor is flawed. How is that flawed? IBM is a because it's a company with a listed big contact details. And you are a details. Where the, where's her phone number listed? On her Facebook. Well, then go and get it yourself. Just like yours is listed. Yours is listed too. Fine. Then you don't need it. Right. That's how I called you. Fine. Then you don't need it. I want Grace to. I'm not going to find it. You're my brother. What was her name? Grace Umacha. I don't know. How do you not know, him, Carl? Don't you know the people you work with? You don't know the people you work with? Or is that in violation of the Privacy Act, too? No, I just know her as Grace. I don't know. You should really do your homework on people you work with. You think that'd be important, eh? Why? Because she's a disbarred judge who has a criminal record? Yeah, so it's just a criminal, um, you know, the chef. So, don't you think the authorities will, or the newspaper in Texas is going to be like, hmm, 
She's promoting another illegal stuff, just like we reprimanded her when she was the judge. And don't you think the the police would go, hmm, she was working with these people. Hmm, shouldn't we check them out too? Hmm, she was also connected to Tammy Jackson. Hmm, who had a front company in New Jersey. Hmm, who was also connected to Carl. Hmm, who was also connected to Joe, who runs a repair shop. Hmm, who's connected to Kate, who works at a college. Hmm. And then Joe, I mean, don't get me started with Joe, but don't you think that would look uh, kind of bad? All, all, all comes back to you, all connected to uh, all criminals? How do you feel being connected to a criminal? I'm not connected to a criminal. You're connected to Hajim, who's also connected to San Lee. you were connected. You're Evelyn 82. So you're connected. And you're also connected to Danny Dickhead, who's a criminal. I'm not connected to Danny. I'm an independent network security analyst who analyzed your chain, and that's why Chavez can't even answer a simple, my video, because it explains how there's no money in cash, there's no money in the vault, there's nothing. And how his boomerang is Golden product is a whitewashed flash loan product made by one of three companies. I'm about to find out who. And while we're in, uh, we're, while we're speaking, Frank, his parents are in Mumbai, India. The server's in India. Cash, cashier's in India. The money is moving out like crazy. Yeah, I know how much you made, Carl. I have your wallet. I have. Everybody besides Grace, because Grace probably doesn't even know how to use the product. And Mr. Trish shit has any desk, so he's going to be off the internet soon, too, anyway. Guess who just called me? Did that, did that stop? All I was, I was asking for was nope. a help for my team. Oh. That was it. And now, now you have everything. So, Kate, you could when Kate gets fired from the college, she I'm gonna tell her to call you, because I'm gonna tell her about this call. I'm like, go ask Carl why why you got fired. And then when Grace gets arrested, I'll say a point. You know who sold you out? It was Carl. And how did I do that? <laughs> because since how I've given you no information. Yeah, you did. You confirmed she was in Texas. You confirmed she was a judge. You confirmed she was in Texas. You confirmed her name. Well, the, the, well what about the privacy act, Carl? The privacy. You just confirmed three things to me, which basically gave me all the information. When did I confirm anything? You said, yep. Yes, you said that on the phone. No. Yes. No. no, no, you said something, and I said, "Well, that's good. That's good. That means I'm right. That's my as well as my as well as I'm right." So, so you made an assertion that she was at this bad job, and I said, "So," which means so, you knew. That's not a confirmation. You wouldn't say so. So I said so. Which means you knew. No, I don't know. Yeah, just like you. Because I'm not. You're gonna tell me. You're gonna sit there and tell me you don't know Chavez has a last name, and that his real name's not Chavez too. You're gonna tell me you you met him in Dubai with Lucky, and her possibly her husband and possibly her husband Mikey. Lucky, lucky. When you guys were talking on a meeting about the going to the spa in Dubai, and there's a picture of you guys. So, so this is how accurate you are. You believe I've been to Dubai? Not yet. You were planning a trip to go with Chavez and Lucky. 
And yeah, there is a picture. There's a there's a nice picture of all of you guys. There's all there's a picture of all of you guys from a party or something or some event with Sam Lee's there, Yvonne Henry's there, Kate's there in the picture, Lucky's in the picture also. Um, who else is in there? Where's where, where, where Chief is in the picture? It's in Dubai. Dude, I Sam Lee, I Sam, the Sam Lee actually has a video. Of all three of you sitting at the table, like, "Hey, we're in Dubai." And Kate goes, "Yeah, we're having uh, this for breakfast." And Yvonne goes, "Yeah, it's so beautiful here in, in Dubai." So, so you're an idiot. Oh, so you guys, then Yvonne Henry does not know where where she goes when she travels, and Kate, a school teacher who should know geography, has no clue. So then she's a. What are you talking about? She's in a video, Carl, with Sam Lee, yeah. Yvonne Henry. You're saying I was there. Yeah, what is your video to you if you cannot look at that right. and see I wasn't there, you idiot? What the of you, Carl? Bullshit! I did not go! And lucky I did not go because that, while I was invited, I did not go. And lucky I did not go because that's when my mum died. Hey guys, Crypto G in for another un. Hey, they must be pissed. Facts you there? Yep, I am. Going to follow a I just got a call from Unit, and then I got a call from what's this other number? A seven one six number. Yep. And uh, somebody overseas from who has an extension five two eight one. Three eight eight two, eight three, nine something. I'll leave the last digit off, so we can't say we gave out the phone number. I gotta go. You you keep talking to everyone. Crypto G. Somebody said they saw your videos. Um, the uh, five two. Oh. Crypto G, I got a poly scan for you. Huh, this is interesting. Crypto G. Crypto G. I just got a new poly scan uh, address, guys. Susie, hold on. Hey, everybody, who's Fazin Kabbaladi? Who should I call? <laughs> Thank you. 
Yunus? I'll just press play on this so you've got something to be entertained with, kids. Oh, Danny, 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 Danny. Dark side or... What was that, Do you have Telegram on your phone or is it yep. on your computer? Interesting. Mr. Eunice just sent us a new Polygon address. Oh. I don't have it on this computer, but I have it on my phone. Oh. Where's that music coming from? That's you. <laughs> yeah. right. I just sent it to your Telegram. Um, yeah, I can't do it on this computer, unfortunately, but I'll do it tomorrow. Um, Hold I'll on. just um, play on this one. Of technology, but don't let the theatrical theme distract from the seriousness and accuracy of the data being presented. I'm going to try something. I literally spent hundreds of hours trawling unchained from? transactions <laughs> following out That's your music, man. large amounts of USDT right. rerouting right. to connect these data points right. together for you in an attempt to make things more impactful. Hold on, I got an idea. Uh, I'm play quick, I Today is plagued with unscrupulous actors running fraudulent scams, and it is hard to know where to look or who to. I'm going to bring up the poly scan. Crypto Avengers are here in this blockchain-powered world. New superheroes arise with a unique set of skills for unraveling financial mysteries. I always say it takes the right team. Does that the sound still kind of true about the thousand eyes on my yep. and the will to use them will get you Come to on. the truth if you can handle it. When cryptocurrency projects start behaving oddly on the blockchain, these superheroes spring into action to investigate and validate. They have no cliche superpowers, just incredibly sharp minds, extraordinary data skills, and a passion for serving justice. Following in the wake of YouTube Got sensations it. like Coffeezilla and the Scam Baiters, these Avengers, led by the quirky scientist Admiral Heck, alter ego, the Crypto Ponzi Scheme Avenger, have gathered enough oh. court data oh. now to finally unmask the villains of this space. The Admiral and his trusted Colonel R's team consist of a growing bank of researchers, fund holders, and advisors from around the globe. Most notably, dark web data expert, call sign Bob, aka Tuckman, communications specialist and expletive distributor, Rucker T, data analyst extraordinaire, stealth cat Susie, aka Agent S, infiltrator and activist, private Mac, and of course, a blockchain forensic scientist known as the Ledger, aka me. In our first adventure, we tackled the case of the questionably rickety $17 million bridge on the Tron net. In the second, we turned the microscope on the great $7 million Bitcoin caper and, of course, the missing proof of reserves. And in the last, we busted a hyped up crypto startup that promised outrageous flash loan arbitrage returns to investors, where the only reality was, you got it, the flash loan. It was obviously too good to be true, but where is the money actually going? Was it wanton deception or just poor management? I think in reality, it could well be both, especially when you consider the lack of executive level transparency, the invisible corporate board, and the long history of liquidity failures and systemic technical vulnerabilities. And like in any Bond style caper, we do need a credible villain. And the fittingly shady CEO, aka Major Brown, 
plays his part with an air of invincibility and innocence that will take your perceptions of trust right to their limits. His hubris ultimately leading to many clues for the Avengers to trace in the twisted trail of coins across wallets and exchanges, even offering a bounty to locate his treasury. But before we can dive behind the blockchain curtain and see what the Avengers breakthrough has unearthed, I do need to do the usual housekeeping. I'm not a financial advisor, and this video should be used for educational and entertainment purposes only. You should seek professional advice before seeking any investment in either the traditional or the digital space, as there is a risk of partial or total loss. Can you hear that? Research, make sure you try to self-custody your assets. And remember, the information in this video may well be out of date by the time you get to watch this. Okay, so here's the scene. We are in the DeHeck Science Facility, and I the, um, is here, and then scrutinizing uh, some dated computer screen. Quite a shame she could have part with Lucy, her five-year-old PC, due to its increasing sluggishness in the mornings. Just as Admiral Heck's online prompt pops up with a bold question mark. What have you found, Agent Tess? Well, now, this is all a bit slippery, isn't it? Quite the yeah, did you get it? Transactions we have here. Uh, I can't okay, bring it up on the screen, man. Have you seen this wallet? I put it in the chat. It looks like those large bags of tether we saw moving into three inactivated accounts in $2.5 million has come from? a lie. The ledger yeah, just confirmed it moved to Binance headquarters several hours ago. At this oh, point, the Admiral looked up with a wry smile Jesus. and oh. missing his spectacles. Oh, I should probably yeah, look at the bench well in time. Indeed. I just want to punch these guys in the oh, mouth, though, and Shard wake up. Okay, so what are we looking at? You can see the token transfer overview from the okay, to it. Binance for USDT okay. token contract address ending LJ6. <laughs> Click on the sender wallet address ending CC. Right, I'm back again for a wee bit in between customers. I think this might be one of the big players making a money run admiral. Just going through the mission. You should get Bob in on this one. Send him in. Yeah, this works. We can infiltrate their data. Oh, um, Click on transfers Telegram. and select the first so one. Yeah. Then yep. go to Again, and scroll down. amount before sending the two and a quarter million dollar payload. Click on the core Prouder ending S5X. You will notice significant inbound assets around the fourth Jan and is the primary source of USDT to this account and the five million dollars clear out wallet. Currently, though, we only have one wallet with the tracker unit linking to the main flows into the second was withdrawal wallet. Which I can tell you now, won't be enough to bring the CIA in on this. If you step back to the transaction section of the major browser, click on the second transaction, which briefly delegated permissions to this wallet for 24 hours. We see it has authorized spy accounts. The second referencing RC one which could be with a good ferret erector. This has enough TRX in it to be the so-called secret treasure. But it's only speculative guesswork at this point, I am afraid. Oh wow. That Binance Cold Wallet has a massive $4.76 billion. I will get Agent Bob on it straight away. I had confirmation from the men in black today that they are closing in on some of the biggest players as we speak. That's fantastic, Admiral, but we may be from there. If we follow the main income liquidity wallet, ending of we can see the ledger has tagged some of the flows in, which show likely node subs and a 15% cut of transfers out to a port control distribution wallet we call Shave Corp King's Cross Station, which is a bit of a plexus. The asset flows there seem to hop on and off deferred rails. We do, however, have verified transaction proof that the second was withdrawal wallet. Is the reward distribution route back to users as this wallet was one of the king's major brow revealed after inadvertently shared the wrong screen several days ago. He looked a little sheepish after realizing his mistake but it was too late. If you put the flow filter on the end, you can see how much is moving across from the main wallet. It's transferred over $250,000 uh, USD in right, days, but this is coming just together now, guys. Right? Kickback and bonuses. Look, there's one for private units. Do on YouTube. There's no sign of any liquidity being redirected to the Tron Bridge, though. For those who have used holders from the BTC expansive network, unable to withdraw. There is currently only $290 of USDT in the Tronbridge contract. At this point, Admiral Hex text to speak device kicks into life, punching out the latest info on Z1 from Bob. Z1 is in Tibet just north of Bhutan, but I tracked Z1 tech entities to both Xinjiang and Chengdu. There is also an interesting 2.5% split on the Shaves account ending, which is regularly routed to Gate.io, but unfortunately, we run out of intel at this point. As the Admiral has pointed out, 
The problem is, most of these guys don't have the level of experience and understanding needed to see through the elaborate web of deception. Yeah, Bob, and that is exactly why we do what we do. Okay, so we're just um, going to have a quick look at this. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yes, um, yeah, so I don't know what I'm looking at exactly here, but let's um, new contract address. And we're looking at uh, four hours ago. Are we looking at the money? Oh, we're going to go transfer, don't I? 19 seconds ago. Value. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I think I know what this one is. <laughs> Am I right? Is this the <laughs> payment wallet? Is this what we're looking at? Because the transactions are all stupid money. Four dollars, 54 cents, 66 cents. Is that what we're looking at, guys? That, Crypto G. Susie, Oh, that, I think that's what we're looking at, isn't it? That is an absolute incredible find. Um, wow. That looks very familiar to something I've seen before. I'm just even texting that to myself so I don't lose that one. I'm going to get that address tattooed on my body. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's the one I think it is. That is just incredible. Is that um, – oh, this just, this just absolutely kills it, doesn't it? Is that what we're looking at? Oh, is it just me? But is that just that's just freaking amazing? Crypto G, confirm. Crypto G, confirm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, look at the transactions five dollars, two dollars. Susie, $2. Susie, I texted it to you on Telegram. Yeah, uh, okay, okay. What, what's the name of it? Boomerang controller. That's Boomerang controller. Oh, mate. Um, I just, um, I'm just, uh, that's just incredible. I'm even taking a photo of that name. I'm going to add that into my wallet. But if that's what I think it is, that is just, um, that is just amazing. So what you're looking at here, kids, going by what I'm looking at, is actually the wallet address that's paying everyone the money that they think is coming from arbitrage trading. Isn't that just, isn't that just, that's, um, that's just beautiful. I mean, so, so now that, now you, oh, I've got so many things I want to do. So I remember Crypto G taught me to go back to the very last transaction. And we go to the very last transaction. And that wallet address on the very last one is going to tell us. Um, I don't know how to get to the last page. Yeah, I think. Um, oh, here we are. So the very that address there where it come from will be their test transaction. And I bet we'll be. Oh, no, that's 16 minutes ago. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not qualified enough for this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Susie Stealth is like, I can see she's wearing her pants with excitement. <laughs> GG, you're awesome. Boom. Oh, now they're just blown out of the water. How can you deny this is a scam? It's incredible. Oh, anyway, I mean, this is just uh, harmony. But anyway, I'm not going to get too excited because I'll whip my pants with excitement. It's probably not the best terminology there, Danny. But let's go back to listening to the um, the absolutely awesome uh, video that Crypto G's put online. Um, and hopefully, I haven't. Um, the Admiral at this point raised one eyebrow. I do like the, the way he's put this video together. Since a suspect has covered his tracks with all the sophistication of, of an MI6 spy, <laughs> this <laughs> more twists than a bloody pretzel factory, leaving almost no trail to trace. But have no fear, my dear SS. We will unravel this squirrely maze of wallets. Just for the regular, I didn't actually Let's say see exactly if there is like any that. update from the ledger, perhaps. Hang on. There is something. Oh my gosh. I am so excited. We have a call sign bingo. That means he's found something big. Let's get him online. That's the Crown Jewels Admiral. The second WAS withdrawal wallet ending IHZZ is the key. If you go back to the track counterparties. OMG Admiral. Look, there's the routing stable coin wallet we were looking at earlier. It's the third largest contributor and there's the WAS income wallet. All feeding into this one. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We got them in the bullseye cow hole. Hey, Rockety. But how do we know it is a corporate withdrawal account? Well, sir, the main portion of transfers out are mainly to over 100 wallets, which suggests this is a significant distribution wallet. However, more significantly, we had inside agents actioning withdrawals to confirm this address. Uh, I see. And it looks like we have eyes on one of Major Brow's accounts. 
Very good, Admiral. Apparently, we captured this on our Zoom scan protocol weeks ago. Exactly, yes. And by starting out with what we actually know and could validate, we meticulously screened everything moving in and out of the building until we had built up a big enough visual picture of their wallet network. Images 005 on show us the verified source information we started with. I have to admit, we did use a few underhand tactics, but the best data came direct from them, especially with the frequent Zoom raids by Bob and some of our active ground agents. Looks like you are top on their search list currently, Admiral. Perhaps you should look at increasing your security protocols. Although it looks like you won't be able to plead ignorance on AML Okay. So you want me to inspect the new contract and then send you the video? Is a frequent recipient of significant okay. You don't have no, no, you don't have a, 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 a WhatsApp or something. or something. I don't know. You know, I can't do that. I can send you the, I wanted to send you the, the my contract. This is my phone number. I can't I can, I'm, I'm out of the United States and Canada. They didn't allow me to send message to, to, to the United States. Okay, let me get my, uh, let me send you my, uh, number. For you. So, you know, go for yourself. And then try to do something else, but I tell you, I send the guy the guy the contract and he said the contract because they can't they cannot you know he whatever he did, we talk with clothes they couldn't they couldn't find nothing wrong. There is a bullshitting people. It's a bullshitting people. I have met Chavez every single day at six AM and the developers of Okay, so then so I then, know everything. okay. I know everything. Let me ask you a question. Then. What's okay. Chavez's real name? You, 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 What's Chavez's you, you, real name? It's not Chavez. It's, it's Hajim. So there's a difference. One's an owner of a company. One's an owner. This wallet is clearly browse. Well, don't you think it matters if you're a block in the blockchain? I feel the technology, and so the content, you know, what they are doing, that is enough for me. It can be probably, I don't know, a thief or whatever. But does my counter say something different? So, why would you? Why did why did they move from a dot org to a dot I think dot net and then to a dot network? You wonder why? Because the dot org was reported. The dot org was reported. It was actually. If we go to the so why did you keep this same website for a, a long time? If you kicked them. Yeah, but it was .org before, and then there was another one before that. Yeah, because we 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 like the some project. We he's no no more here. Now we have a new CEO, and that's it. That's all. And the project that is. So why won't Chavez say his real name? Is the project with, huh? So why doesn't Chavez say his real name? Oh, I mean, he's he offered ten. He offered ten thousand dollars to find his real name. See the, 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 the Security Commission of the United States and ask the Security Commission the real name. They know everything. Well, he also claimed. He also claimed. He 
He he claimed he won a. I did. I called. They don't know. Okay. Come on. They know because they have a a conversation with him. Every day they ask him for the. Is it, this is your passport. This is your yeah, name. Yeah, 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 yeah. They have all the information. You do I mean, know that you know, he. The, the most important people have the information of the SPD. Yeah, just like I know Grace that is out of Texas. Whatever. I don't. I don't care. They can be. Yeah. How come? How come nobody knows anybody's real name in the company? Isn't that a little weird? I will tell you something. Okay. I don't know who, who are you, but I tell you something. I have three validators working perfectly through a smart contract. I have eleven not nodes that work perfectly in my computers in Canada. Okay. Everything that this guy say, I made it decentralized. Work perfectly. Everything on the decentralized. Whatever he's doing in his real life, I don't care. Because what I'm, I'm, I'm expecting is the technology. Same thing with with Boomer. In the meantime, you complain. I make money. I make money. I'm crazy. But you complain. Okay, perfect. That's you. You want to do that? Let's, let's do it. I'm go, I'm rely on on technology, and you will see in the next few months. So what? So know, okay. So let me ask you a question. Do you want to take care of it, whatever bullshit is doing on the internet? So let me ask you a question. He said he was hacked, right? Like a bunch of meetings ago. Never. What? That's what never, never, never be hacked. That's what Chavez says. Remember, he said he was hacked. No, the not. Show me, send me the video that they said he was hacked. And no, no, I will send you that video because he never. says the miners were came onto the market and they were being sold well below the price of what they were supposed to be sold at. Like their their miners what? on for being sold for like fifteen dollars, twenty dollars. Okay, well, well, okay. What the hack? The the main thing. Somebody. Get into the minting system, saw a hole over there. They tried to get 200 uh, miners out through the through the bridge. We find the the, the bridge and that's it. He just so why uh, fix it? So why are they still available on the market then? Well, still what? Why can I still buy those on the market then? If the the, the hack was you can you can the the NFT is mint. Nobody can erase it. That you know that that show me your level of knowledge. You have no knowledge. Yeah, I run these kind of. I run you like I would. I would erase it. You can. You can. Don't say, don't, don't say, don't say bullshit to me, man. I know technology. I do too. I've been in the industry probably more than you. I've been in it for like thirty years. I've been in Bitcoin before it was even popular. When it was like a one millionth of a penny. Okay, do something better. You know, I'm very busy. Okay, do something else. Okay, thank you. Go your hackers, mate. Did you hear him? I did. I managed to turn off um, crypto G stuff halfway through. I'm kind of in between customers and busy stuff, so that was absolutely brilliant. So that who was that? That was, I assume, somebody who had to do with Eunice because I guess Eunice forwarded him the videos. Um, he's overseas. That's the guy who gave us the poly scan and trying to say, oh, it's legitimate. He, he has, apparently, he has 10 nods. So we know, look yeah, for somebody who's popular who has 10 nods. Um, he's got 10 nods. No way. <laughs> he's like, well, you, once they're minted, you can't remove them off the chain. He's I know. I didn't get to ask him why doesn't the bridge work. Oh, the bridge is supposed to work in March, is what he, according to the chat room. It's meant to work on the sixth of November, uh, December. Hey, um, so he spent two hundred and seventy thousand dollars on computers that go bing. <laughs> I was gonna say, hey, if you're a technology guy, why don't you just buy a laptop and throw the knot on there? You don't need to buy a twenty-seven thousand dollar computer. Yeah. You could buy a th a computer for four hundred bucks and put it on that. Hey, watch my customer service. <laughs> Hello, Ben. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Fitness New Zealand. Danny speaking. I'm going to give you your phone number, Danny. Oh. <laughs> Who wants to talk to this guy? He has two numbers. Apparently, one's in the United States and one he's overseas. 
which is very interesting to me. Seven one six five oh three 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 two three is the person who I like to call. Dance it with me. Seven one six five oh three 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 two one plus two. Let's call him back, shall we? Why is this shit still on, you mean? Are we still talking? Yeah, I think so. Are you there, Bob? What? You still there? Yeah, I'm no. still here. He just said, What? Are, are, you, you, are you calling more people or are you done for the day? Because oh, um, I might call this quits now. It's getting a bit complicated. You can call it quits. If the guy calls me back, then I'll start a new stream. Okay, we'll let it go for a bit. Um, which video should we play? <laughs> Debbie, uh, Debbie does Dallas. It's a good American one. No, that's Steve. It's uh, he loves. That's his favourite one. Actually, didn't you play in that movie? No, I was too young. Too young. Ah, uh, um, you, me, you. I oh, saw that. You saw this one. Yeah. Ah, it's more new. Yeah. 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 Hello. Yes, hello. Do you know you know how long that it's through at this time? What? Okay, let me do something. Do, do you need to uh, change? Uh, you have USDT, BTC twenty, or BTC, and you want to change it to TRC twenty? Sure. Okay. Uh, how much you have? I can I can pay you. How much I, I want? I'm buying everything. So whatever, whatever the the, 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 the right now, uh, the people want to sell on BTCC or T, uh, with USDT, BTC twenty. We buy. We we using that to buy boomerang. So you, if I one of my downline wants to sell their BTC, yeah. you buy it. Yeah, yeah, I buy it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they got, they buy it. do you buy their miners and everything else too? No, the miners no, but the USDT, BTCC, and the USDT, BTC20, yes, I, I buy it from my community. Okay. So now upline, Danny the heck, or the other guy, probably the you are upline, and ask them to change like I do with my community. 
Okay, uh, how come they contact you? The one guy wants out. They don't get it if they need to work or not because we buy it. And we use it. And we don't charge nothing. Okay. Um, you see? Is there any cap? But the, but the tool of the cryptocurrency, the peer to peer. If one person is to another person, another person can, can, can take it. Yeah. To be without a central authority. Yeah. That's of the cryptocurrency. Okay. The bridge is only a tool, and if I tell you what is right now, Charlie, you will be blown out in terms of pitch. So if he's so great, why does he Don't kick? Don't use excuses. Why does he kick so people out of the room for asking questions? Why doesn't Chavez reply? I don't care to about what people say. I don't care what people say. I care what I see, what I can confirm, and I have to Correct. And I have conf- <laughs> So how? I have to say with eighteen people were connected into the YouTube. I don't care. How? How? Because he doesn't know nothing about technology too, like you. Ah, yeah, <laughs> I don't know anything about technology. <laughs> Yeah, because if you coded it right, if you coded it right, you could you can null it out. That shows. No, you can null it out, genius. If you know, you can null it out. Sorry, sorry. It's in the blockchain. It's recorded there. Thank you very much. You know that Please Boomerang is yourself. Boomerang has copied code. I, I'm looking at your Boomerang code. You have copied code from three different sources. You don't know copy code from different sources. This is not, this yeah, is Boomerang has copied code. Go inspect code. Come on, listen. I saw code. No, no, even a UI, and we did a transaction with the simplicity uh, contract with the um, a, a, a system in order to see a transaction into the blockchain. Because that can make the exact you same know. system? You, you, you leave the, you, you leave the people in mean, YouTube, man. You are not in the in the field working with the people who develop the things like me. You just are now outside and listen to things. And you are like the people they say that because it was a scam at the beginning. You do the exact same thing because you don't know. I do know, man. I, I've been in cryptocurrencies longer than probably Chavez has been alive. Okay, Chavez works for Marvel Studios, right? Chavez works for Marvel Studios, right? That's what he claimed. I don't care. Well, that's a, why can't why 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 can't you have a an honest CEO? He lied about so why can't Chavez be honest about it? his name? He worked for Marvel, apparently. I like, I'm like the way Charles do the thing. That's it. I like it. Right, it's all bullshit. Okay. You don't like it. Okay, it's a bullshit. You don't like it. You don't like Cause it. Cause it's all smoke and mirrors, man. It's smoke and mirrors. He's buying. He's borrowing funds from the Verso and Hyperverse. Okay, good. Right. Oh, so why don't I buy the fifteen dollars miners and then Chavez, according to him, will buy them all back for fifty dollars? and that would be good for you, man. I I program, man. I that, I've been doing it for over twenty years. You know, you can program and you know how to the music works, and then you you know you in this case you won't you won't listen to the bullshit that that it has to say. Because now you know. So why would okay, genius? Why would I pay twenty seven thousand dollars for a nod when I can run it on an eight hundred dollar computer desktop? So, yes, you can. You can buy thirty two gigs of RAM and put it in the computer and and run it. And I'm going to And what I can tell you, and we're using only eight hundred dollar computer. So how's he gonna pay the ten point two million dollars? Where's the money come from? That's ten point two million dollars. Ten point two million dollars. Not a minor. No, it's not a minor. We don't. We don't do. We don't use proof of work here. We do proof of estate. I'm not talking about the 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 proof. I'm talking about the API. The API that he claims. That, that 
you say to me you don't know nothing, but nothing is nothing. It's 182 percent by Chavez's own claim, man. I'm not. It's 182 percent. You yeah, log the log in. It. That's what it says. I'll send you a picture where it says 182 percent. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Please arrange my my number. Thank you very much. What? No, I have your number. Oh, it was Eunice. <laughs> Wait till he finds out it was streamed live. <laughs> You think that we're getting hot on the trail, Susie or Crypto G over there? Five, two, eight, one. So this guy has a USA number. These two guys are the same people. And I bet you he's connected to uh, Eunice. These two guys, or the guy who, who who had 11 nods, I think is connected to Eunice. Either Eunice is downline or Eunice is upline. Are we still going? Is he hung up, is he? No, he hung up. You did bloody well, mate. You're awesome, mate. Talk about Bulldog. Wait till he finds out that he was streamed live. <laughs> I know. I didn't get a chance to listen to all of it. Um, but anyway, I think um, I got to go anyway because I got to go work for a living, as they say. But um, if anyone's listened to this, that's what I, that's what I thought, right? Crypto G. That's what I was, I was like. Apparently, like he, he says, he knows technology. I'm like, it can be burned. That was exactly what I was thinking. I'm like, or you could know the know the code, or the miners, or sacrifice them, or depending on how you want to do it. That's oh, freaking amazing. Actually, I'll just um, try to do something while I'm here. I'll see if I can actually. Um... And I think he tried to say, get, lose my number. I'm like, I ain't losing your number. I have the VIP5 list. <laughs> I think you're amazing, mate. I mean, that was, um, that was, uh, I'll have a listen to this when I get home and do stuff. But um, that was friggin' amazing. I'm trying to put a background screen on me at the moment, but I don't think it's going to work. Oh, look at that. I can have a part tool. I look, I look like Danny at work, but I'm not at work. That's pretty cool. That's a bad cutout. That's not bad for a, that's pretty clever. I All think right, it was funny that he was like, "Well, I have to pay twenty seven dollars for twenty seven thousand dollars for a non." I'm like, the Ethereum and other cryptos can be run on a lot cheaper computers. So why why do why do we have to spend twenty seven thousand dollars? He was hilarious. Eunice, I think, is the, my most. I don't know he's right up there with Carl now. He's he's hilarious. Where was that person ringing from? Do you know? Eunice. No, Eunice is from USA. Right, so that person that you rang was from the USA, but you sent us a screenshot the other day where they were in Dubai. Was that just their location a year and a half ago? Uh, which one? Oh, there's a screenshot where it showed his location as du uh, Dubai. He might have been visiting at the time when he was screenshot. Yeah, because Eunice is in USA, and then the other guy is either Eunice's down eyes. So if he's in the USA, I want to know about him because he'll be one of the ten that I want to go after them. Because uh, men in black are after anyone in the USA. Well, yeah, his number's in USA. He's in U. I think five one four is. I gotta look up what state that is. He's in USA or Canada because I have I could call USA or Canada. No, that'd be cool. So let's um yeah I'll get I'll start a file on him then. That's to Mexico. Guys, oh, Southie uh, Stu, uh Susie. Stout. Thanks, Susie. She's incredible, man. She's a ball of information. Yeah, I mean, you must be pretty awesome if you keep me and Robin in line. I'm not going to say you keep Bob in line, but you keep Robin in line. <laughs> he has ties to Canada. Great. Oh, good stuff. Yeah. All right, guys, as much fun. 514 is Quebec. That's what I thought it was. To the 13 people in the chat room, thanks for hanging around. Um, I'll be broadcasting tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. New Zealand time, which is four hours. We've been going for about three and a half, four hours now. So if you just wind back your clock, that's the time we normally start the show. Um, 
and also what's crypto G? He, he uh, so he was. I think so. Yeah, he admitted he kind of doesn't yeah. like. He's he's like, like, cause Eunice. Yeah, he he's like I don't care what his what he does what his gene. He didn't even know Chavez's real name, which is interesting to me. Like, he was trying to say, "Well, call the Securities Exchange." They know his real name. I'm like, yeah. you're not on the exchange. I think you're uh, the most entertaining guy. You ever thought about becoming a YouTuber? No, I I've, I always wanted to do the uh, the um, tech support scams one, kind of like yeah. pierogi. <laughs> yeah, I know. I want to meet him. That's my goal at the moment. But yes, this is Mr. Bob. How can I help you? <laughs> I know, that would be so cool. I'm trying to make a screen. Oh, that looks better. Look at that. I've actually got a, a screen now set up looking like professional, just like I'm at home, but I'm at work. I should be working, but there's no one in the shop at the moment. I'm to put away all the products. Mm. It's a good job, man. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll call it quits. I'll let you go, Bob. Thank you very much for that entertainment. All right, I more VIPs tomorrow. Guys are on for a long time. Um, let's see. That's right, GG. These scumbags don't care. They don't care. And this is the point. They don't care that they're scamming people. It's just absolutely incredible. It's like um, when you're interviewing um, Carl and we're telling him that the judge has been struck off 1,700 cases. So? Removed. He's going, so? <laughs> we need a meme, don't we? I think he was watching our channel because he was like, Oh, there's 17 people on the channel. Yeah, hey, we need to get um, Crypto G's um, movie out because, um, you know, 80 people watch that, it's just not enough. And I don't know why people aren't searching for it or why people aren't watching that because or sharing it with people, wouldn't you? Wouldn't if you're in a scam and you realize that it's a scam and it's been proven to you, wouldn't you? try warning the friends in the community and say hey have you seen this video yeah i think the one guy's i think that's yeah. how maybe the one guy uh who tried to call me from overseas was but um he's like so I, oh i saw crypto jesus video i so think somebody's Steve, also uh, texting we, everybody the videos when i, I think the up, one guy yeah. the one guy I, I talked to i just say when I turned up for work this morning, my mate Steve says to me, he said, every single person in those Zoom meetings, except for the Avengers, deserve to lose their money. I mean, it has to come to a, a point where people have to have um, some right. sort of go. accountability for their own actions. Whoops, he's gone. All right, guys, I'm going to take that cue. I'm going to take that, um, that background off so I'm not in two pieces. I'm going to put myself back into this mode. And I'm going to say, hey, thanks for tuning in. I'm Danny DeHeck, a.k.a. the Crypto Ponzi Scheme Avenger. And I'm even going to try doing my um, my music that I do. I'm Danny DeHeck, a.k.a. the Crypto Ponzi Scheme Avenger. Here to name and shame anyone running or promoting a Ponzi scheme or a scam. I'll be back online maybe tonight, or my tonight, which is probably a long time away, about 12 hours away, or in the morning show. Thanks for tuning in. It's been absolutely awesome. Um, uh, and thank you, Bob. Uh, thank you, all the Avengers that are really making it awkward for these people to carry on running these games. And we'll see you on the next live stream. All right, see you guys.